Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome to the stream. Today we are playing Planet Zoo and we are playing in our Sir Reginald State Zoo. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is actually moving on to a new section of the park, which is super exciting. Um, and we are going to be moving on to Australia. If we go to Twitter and look at the poll that I posted on there, um, we can see, give me one second, that um, Australia pretty much won by, I would say, a landslide. Um, we got 60 percent for Australia and 20% for the other two. So we're moving on to Australia today. And um, originally my plan was to um, start with the entrance to the park um, or the, the Australia entrance, but instead I decided what we're going to do today is build a habitat. Just because I'm not quite sure where everything's going to need to go and I would rather sort of work from where we, fin we started um, the North America area and kind of branch off of that instead of kind of trying to loop around. So if we switch over to the game mode, um, interesting, we can't see any of the features. You see that? Can't see the uh, events or the, the, uh, the um, what is it called? The follower notifications, can't see any of it. Let me try and message in the chat to see if that pulls up. Um, yeah, even the chat's not pulling up on the um, OBS, which is interesting. Um, I can try to uh, fix that in streamlabs really quick but um what we can see right here is I, uh, in the game i just kind of pulled up to this part of the park because i feel like this is a really good view of um sort of all these areas that we worked on in the last few live streams um so you can see like right below is the alligators and then we have our beautiful timber wolf habitat which i still think is probably one of my favorite things in the north america area um i also really like the bears um but i just think the whole timber wolves area as a whole is the best um i think it's the most concise came together the best um not quite sure yeah you'll just have to wait for the arctic cove which um I'm not quite sure when we'll be getting to that now because if we kind of stick to the areas we're working with so like after australia obviously we would either move to arctic cove or los tropicos or aquatic are going to be the next three um so we have an encoding overload that's what it's saying um it's fine i guess we'll just have to see if maybe it'll just update itself but as of right now we're just going to continue. Um, <laughs> so, like I said, this is the North America section of the um, the zoo. And we can do like a really quick overview. I am going to do sort of like a um, cinematic tour as well as a um, tour on a YouTube video. So it'll be much more in depth. Uh, but we had our bison pronghorned antelope um, and prairie dog habitat, which was the first one that we built um, over here. And then you go up the little path and we come around here to our moose habitat, which our moose, there they are, hanging out there. And then you can swing around um, and you can head up the stairs if you want to go to see the beavers, which are hanging out over here in the water, having a nice day. Um, and if you don't go up the stairs, you can continue over this path um, and see some of the doll sheep which are all hanging out together, which is super cool. Um, and I did just add this bridge today um, to sort of finish up this area. I just felt like that bridge was kind of awkwardly there and I thought that that kind of helped. Um, and then if we continue through the bridge area, you can see we get some hints that we're heading towards the timber walls. We have some really cool um, stonework pieces here. And you follow around the path um, and we come to the timber wolf building, which I think is sort of like the big, ticket item of the new um, the North American area probably this and the grizzly bears um, are like the big ticket items and you can also head up these stairs or this ramp here and this heads into the um, follow deer habitat which is a walkthrough habitat and you can also head up the stairs a little bit more if you want to go up here to 
the train station, which is actually heading out just now. Uh, I just did that as well again today. Um, and then, yeah, we have our timber wolves, which we have our cute little restaurant, which I love the way this restaurant came out. Um, and then we also have the timber wolf habitat as well. You can see them in there. And we do have our little babies, which I think they might have grown up. Nope, there they still are. Little guys, look at them. The wee little lads. Oh wait, he's running away. There he is. Running and howling. So cute. And then this is the timber wolf habitat. Amazing. You can come down here. I built this nice retaining wall. Felt it helped finish off kind of the edge of this uh, um, habitat as well. And we did, I did this um, log barrier um, around the entire zoo. So now there should be a log barrier just about everywhere. Um, you can continue heading down this way. Um, you have some more retaining wall. And this is where you can view the cave entrance of the timber wolves. We if we keep continuing, um, we do have a staff entrance right there, which I thought helped kind of hide it away. We have the European fallow deer habitat um, main viewing area up here. People can come in and view them. And this is a really good, I think this viewing area came out really cool because this is where they hang out the most. So you can come up here and you can see them hanging out. Um, and then they go underneath as well. If we can continue down this path, you can head this way to the alligators, which we never put a sign that says like the alligators are this way, but this is where you can view them from up here. You can also go downstairs and get a nice sort of partial water view, which I think is phenomenal. Get a really nice view of the alligators. Um, also their educational um, talk is there. And if we keep heading down this really, um, wooded path we have a nice observation deck here for the alligators um yeah some information here they can learn the kids can learn um the staff area over here and then we head into the badgers habitat um which you can see them in here and they have really good view of all the badgers um you also can come and sit here and get some information in the animal talk and then after we head out of the badgers, we go into the American brown bear area with the grizzly and the Himalayan brown bear. If we head into this area, we get a really nice viewing deck of the Himalayan brown bear habitat. Uh, and you can also head up here to the animal talk, which is uh, a life in the snow, which is for the Himalayan brown bears. And you can keep heading this way. You can also get some views of them here, uh, as well as you can go into this building here to get to the animal talk about the grizzly bears which is room to roam and you also get a really cool observation deck of them here kind of see them hanging out over there and then we can go up this bridge and continue up this bridge and we get kind of a nice view of both of the habitats so you can look over here we can head out and look at the grizzly bears which i think is a really cool view of them or you can head over here and you can look at the grizzly bears which they like to play in the water just as much with all their little toys and you also get a really cool view of the waterfalls and sometimes the train comes by it's really pretty um but if we keep heading down this way um we'll come to the staff area for the uh himalayan brown bear and then just around the behind this building which is just a memento and informational is the staff building for the grizzly bears so all tucked away there and then you can head all the way up these stairs if you like and we get a nice viewing deck here of the Himalayan brown bear cave which sometimes you can get um, a nice peek at them kind of hanging up here around the snow um, there's also a restroom in there but you can head all the way up these stairs and get to the tavern here which they can go in and get something to eat or they can head in here and go to these shops here um, and they can also, if they want to, head all the way down these stairs in sort of this offshot trail to a really cool observation deck of the grizzly bears, which is kind of tucked back here, which I really like. You can kind of squeeze in here and here and get like a nice up close view of the bears, um, sort of hidden away from everybody else in their, their little cave back there that they like to go. Um, and then also, oh, I almost forgot, uh, when you go... Before you go up those big stairs to head up to the tavern, you can actually also head down into this little cave area. We can get some really cool information about the Himalayan brown bear here. And we also have our North American map 
some information and you can come in here and look how cool this is you come right in here and you can see these grizzly bears just sitting here very cool um and you can also come over here and get a really cool view of these frogs look at them just hanging out very cool nice uh but yeah so that is our north america area I don't think there's any other spots to see. I mean, we do have like the underground viewing area for the beaver, the underground viewing area for the cave of the um, uh, bison and stuff. Um, just a lot of nooks and crannies, which I'm gonna show almost, I'll show everything off in the tour for YouTube. Um, so definitely take a, a look at that if you wanna see all this stuff. So here we have the Sir Reginald's terrarium which goes into a few different sections of animals. I think they're all North American though, for the most part. Um, we have North American desert animals, North American temperate, uh, tropical, and um, like aquatic. Uh, I don't remember if they're all North American. I was almost certain that they were. Um, they might not be, but in general, we have this sort of, um, architecture that's being used here. Um, we also have this pronghorn antelope um, observation. Oh my god, moving super quickly. Um, observation deck, which you can come in here and get a really good view of the uh, exhibit either through the glass. You can come up here and this is sort of more open. Um, this is where people can come in to learn about the antelopes as well as the prairie dogs. Um, but this place has sort of this different architecture than what we were using in the rest of the park because the rest of North America is sort of this like lumber, sort of log cabin. Um, and this is where we're going to be transitioning into the Australia area. Um, so I'm going to actually pull out our um, terrain tool and I want to sort of mark with, uh, let's use sand, sort of mark where we're seeing these areas. So like right here, is sort of where that main entrance area is going to be for the park. Um, and this is sort of all going to be parking lot area. So like, this is all going to be the main entrance and then we'll transition into the Australian animals. And I'll probably have them go to like up here. It's probably where we'll see the Australian animals go. And then they'll kind of stay sort of towards the bottom um, ground. I don't think we're gonna really push them up the mountain too much. So sort of that is what we're looking at for our Australia area, which I think works because it's probably, I would say, about almost half the size of the North America area, but we also have about half as many animals in this area compared to North, the North American area. Because the North American area originally was supposed to have six habitats, we ended up having 11. Um, and the Australia area is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's about half. Um, of the habitats uh, as in North America. So this should be a good size for it. Um, and what I think we're going to start with today is a kangaroo habitat. Um, just because the kangaroos I think are a beautiful staple of the Australia outback. So we probably wanna start with that. I do have this area here, which is just what I, like, I was kind of, um, what is the word like, uh, uh, Theoretically placing down some things kind of planning and seeing what it kind of looked like because we do have this like really cool viewing area here And I thought it would be really cool if we had a habitat down here we might be able to incorporate the um, co uh, Kangaroos into this we just need to kind of look up some information so we can either put so we have let's go look at all of our Australian area animals we're going to be putting in here, so if we sort this by Oceana and specifically by habitat animals. So these are the animals um, for the most part that we're gonna be putting in here. So the saltwater crocodile, um, I believe we're putting in here. Um, oh yeah, the saltwater crocodile we are going to put in um, uh, Australia because we decided to do that instead of squeezing it in with North America. So there'll actually be seven habitats because we're gonna put the dingoes in there, the koalas, the platypus, the red kangaroo, um, Saltwater crocodile in the cassowary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we're missing that one dog animal. Where is he? This one. Um, which I don't think is necessarily Australian, but we did squeeze them. We thought they would fit. Um, pretty okay into the um, 
Australia area. So, the D-hole. Yes. <laughs> the D-hole. Um, so, we are going to be squeezing them in. Um, so, it's sort of where do we want to start? Um, so, if we were to think, like, this is where the entrance to the park is. We don't want to put one of the big, like, um, demand animals as close to the entrance because we want people to kind of lead through the um the area sort of like when we did this we laid it out so that you know the wolves and the bears were sort of at the end and people had to walk through all the other animals to see them just because that way we can get people spread around the park a little bit more so if this is the entrance to the park we're going to probably want something like the cassowaries maybe right here by the entrance um just because they are not that um, high demand of being observed. Um, kangaroos, koalas, the platypus, the dingo, those are all actually really, really in demand animals. But um, I think what we're going to do is probably put the platypus sort of up here as close as we can get it to this lake. Since this is going to have the aquatic animals in it, um, we can put the... Um, the platypus up there so that we can sort of help blend that a little bit better um so we'll probably have cassowaries down here platypus up here and then the dingo and what is it the deal dole the dole um maybe we'll have them sort of in like this middle area because i believe they do like sort of more desert um well, the dole seems to be able to be in just about any, so we might put them sort of in the middle, um, to sort of maybe, or sort of maybe not in the middle, but somewhere to kind of do like a nice, um, blend. Um, but the, um, saltwater crocodile and the, um, what is it? The saltwater crocodile and the platypus are definitely going to be sort of towards this end, so we can kind of help blend them in with the water a little bit more. Um, I want to put the cassowaries sort of near the, this entrance. Um, so then we have the two dogs, the kangaroos, and the koalas, which are probably pretty much just going to be here in the middle. So, who do we want to put here is basically what we're thinking. Well, obviously, we could probably make it a little bit bigger and a little bit more natural towards the back. I just kind of like the idea of having it lower compared to this side to help with that transition. So if we go to Oceana, um, and then we also do, let's do Desert. And grassland so we have kangaroo or the dingo um, are gonna be in this area and I kind of like the idea of putting the dingo in here um, well let's see which one needs the least amount of height for fencing so the dingo will need f just over four feet grade two and the kangaroo is gonna need over nine feet um grade three so probably not sticking the kangaroos there because it will be very difficult i think to kind of get them in a, a barrier that is the right height so let me actually see so we have um i want to kind of keep it flat uh let's see how high this fence can be without it being like completely unnecessary so that is almost seven feet. It needed to be, what was it, 9.9? .9? Almost 10 feet, which is there, which is actually, this height is actually perfect. That's actually nine feet, um, almost 10 feet, yeah. So right here, this barrier is at um, 10 feet, which is actually how deep I made this. So this actually would be a pretty okay habitat to put the kangaroos in. So let me actually try, let's use the cement or the concrete barrier. Uh, and I want to sort of build out this um, wall here just so we can get an idea of sort of how um, big this habitat is. So let me move that back a little bit. Just kind of frame it out. I want to get an a, a idea of the size. Because I think the kangaroos need about 6,000. Just over 6,000. Um, uh, in size. So I want to just sort of theoretically build this. 
and see what size it would be. Um, yeah, we can just leave that like that. I'm gonna build this one sort of just like a rough arch because I probably would go in there and do this with a null barrier. Um, so let's see, let's get snapping off. Okay, we're gonna use straight piece. We don't need snapping. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort of build this like really rough around it. Because we'll probably end up using a lot of rocks. So we have that, which that shape I think is pretty solid. I think what we'll probably end up doing is having this part be like much lower to the ground and then maybe having this kind of come up to a more flat surface. So let me, let's just trace out this whole square I made. Do that. Just so you can see the size. And connect that up, which we need to put in a door. Which it probably won't let us because of the terrain, but that's okay. We can actually just squish some of that away. We'll do like something over here. And I'm just gonna plop a door in here. Very temporary. Um, you can kind of get an idea of the size of this little square I made, which is 19,000 square feet. So it's actually a pretty decent size for the kangaroo. Um, so we pretty much want, the vibe I'm going for for our zoo is very natural, pat, natural zoo. Um, so the habitats, I'm basically trying to not make them any smaller than twice the recommended size for the, the kangaroos. Because so I think 6,000 was based on, um, four kangaroo, five kangaroo, um, which is probably about a decent amount for this habitat if we look at what they would want. So we can have one male and up to nine females. So we would probably have six then, one male and five females, which they want 7,000, which 7,000 times two would be about 14,000. Um, so this size here is actually a perfect size, I think, for them. So we'll work with this size. What I think we'll do is um, we'll probably have some sort of building over here, maybe to kind of help uh, with like where the animals will go in at night, I think. Um, we'll probably do like a decent rock feature back there. So what I want to do is, let me see, let's grab the barrier. I want to I want to try and use natural barriers as much as possible. So I'm going to take all this that we just placed and turn it into null barriers so that we can try to work with um, terrain a little bit. Um, so we'll turn that all to null. Because uh, what I think I want to do is sort of have this area be more flat with this. Um, and then we'll kind of taper it down. So I think we'll pull the land out to probably like here, like that. And I'll just kind of fill all this in. And then I'm gonna use the um, line to slope tool. And we're gonna kind of try and make that a nice gracious slope for them to run up and down. Because if we look up some pictures of sort of the kangaroo's natural habitat, um, what are we seeing? So we see a few trees in the background, mostly grasslands. So we kind of want it to be fairly open for them to run around, which I think down here is pretty much just going to be flat, grassy area. And then maybe we can do like some trees and stuff and rocks in the back. Um, so let's do that really quick. And then we're going to go to terrain. I want to do this flatten to surface and let's see, is there a slope already here? So there is this slope. If I can grab that. Do we think that's shallow enough? Um, maybe not. Let me try and use that just to test it out. So we have that kind of go back, flatten all this to surface. Get kind of like a slope over here. Um, so it's not quite 
not quite that shallow. So let's use the pushing tool. And I'm actually just going to kind of push all this down there. And then we'll push all this down there. So Reginald is asleep on your mouse pad. Aww, he's so cute. Um, so I'll push that down and then we'll just kind of keep pushing it back a little bit because I do want it to be pretty shallow. I think that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good there. So let's uh try and smooth this out. Um, I'm just kind of, instead of dragging, I'm just going to kind of touch and go. Do something like that. Just kind of, kind of eyeball it. Let's do this and pull that up. Pull it across a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's use the smoothing tool. Maybe that will help a little bit. We'll make it a very big size. Like that. And instead of sampled, let me turn on auto paint so we can kind of get a good idea of steep areas like that. I'm pretty sure they are going to want long grass, so. I'm just going to kind of smooth all this out and see if that helps. With them being able to move around this area. So let's see. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. I think that's a pretty decent size area there. And then I'm um, going to paint all of this it, with long grass. Like that. Just kind of smoothing it a little bit. So have something like this. Uh, let me actually adjust the lighting. See if this helps make this look a little better. There we go. So yeah, I think that looks kind of cool because you can look down at them. Um, and then what I think we'll do is we'll go here and edit this barrier. Um, and we're going to raise it up because right now it's not tall enough. So we're going to kind of select all of this here. We need to make this about 10 feet. Nine point nine. Like that. How does that look over here? I think that's okay. That's pretty level. We can adjust it a little more, a little bit more as well, because I do want to try and use like the green grass pieces and flatten that out. So we have this working for us, and so this back area here, we need to try and figure out the building. Um, where is staff going to? Um, where is the staff? going to enter the habitat. So what I want to do really quick is look up some of the natural habitat of a koala. I mean a kangaroo. Um, let's see if that gives us any um, inspiration or ideas. So if we're looking at kangaroo habitats, they're very grasslandy. Um, maybe a few trees, mostly low-lying shrubs. Um, so what I'm looking at here is, I think this picture here is probably a good expectation for what I would want this habitat to look like. If you guys can see that this way. Um, sort of with the trees in the back, but more of a grassland in the front. I think that is sort of our inspiration that we will work with. Um, so I think we're gonna put a building over here, which is kind of exciting. This is going to be our first um, Australian architecture so what we can do is go to construction i want to filter this by the australia pack 
Mm -hmm. And we have all this stuff. So, because we're going to have, I think what we'll do is we'll have sort of the building over here that is more for keeping the animals. And then maybe on this side where this guest path already is kind of coming out with no purpose, we'll do sort of more of the um, animal talk area on that side. Um, so for this, let's see. Let's take a look at some of the things that we have. Um, we'll go into the architecture. Um, this is actually a building I've already built. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's locked. It's probably like a small piece of something I haven't researched, maybe. Um, but let's see. I wanted to kind of look at some blueprint pieces like already pre-built and um, see if we can get some inspiration for sort of how people are building. So this is, uh, whoa, what is this? Is this Australian? I kind of like this um, architecture style. Maybe we should go for something like this. Although I think that this building, the wood is built with individual pieces. Let me see if we go in here and edit. Okay, now these are actual wall pieces. Um, what is that wall piece called? It is a stained wood wall. Is that from the Australia pack? Or is that its own thing? Let's see. Stained. So this is actually not from the Australia pack, although it is very pretty. I think this sort of vibe is what we'll go for in sort of our Australia pack. So sort of like the natural wood and maybe the dark wood and I mean dark roof and features. So if we come over here, let's grab one of these walls. And I think this building will kind of start it over here like that. Um, and I think we'll kind of have it kind of go back a couple and this will give a space for the um this will give a space for the koalas to lay down is right there um and then kind of have this come out a little bit Oop, wrong way we want it to be on the inside kind of have this go out a little bit like this way and this will probably drag across um and then we'll do like Mm, probably only one. You think we only need like one square opening for them to fit through? Um, so we'll do that. And then I'll pull this across again like this and that will give the kangaroos another area to lay down. And then I think we'll have interior wall which we can probably get away with using these corrugated iron for interior walls. Um, actually, we put that there. This would be a nice feeding area. We can put their food and water over here, and then they can lay down there. Um, and they can also lay down there. So we can do something like that. So we have these two areas for them to lay down. I think we'll continue this this way. So that will be the entrance into the habitat. That will be where the, um, the staff entrance is, which we can put this there like that. Um... And then we're going to need some facilities in this building, I think. So if we... Let's go see what facilities we're going to need. So we're probably going to need a, a um, animal building here. And we might be able to just squeeze that one just kind of in here. So it's right by that entrance. And then we can change that out for a window piece. Um, we're also going to need a trading center, probably. We can put that one here as well. Actually, let me see. Put that there so this path will kind of come out maybe through here. And then we have a little bit of space here. Which we would probably want like a... Mm, probably a veterinary clinic. We're probably gonna want, maybe we could put that in its own little building. So then right here, what we can do is maybe a staff room. Kind of squeeze that in there like that. Yeah, kind of like that. 
So let's go back in here. We're going to grab some walls. Um, so let's get some of these window pieces in. I think there's a window there as well. It's on the inside there. And then I'm just going to fill this out with these flat pieces right here. And so this door, I think, is going to be an exterior door compared to the building. Um, and then we'll have this there. So this is where staff can go into this building, and this is where staff can go into that building there. We might be able to even kind of tuck this back in. Like that, just to kind of give us some intrigue on the building and then maybe put the door there yes they had to use blue thor is that leaf flow or is that weed wag do you see them they're like <laughs> so we have this building here i'm just trying to Think how we can optimize space in here. I think this is probably going to work just fine. We have a few sleeping areas for them, which we can put um, these in, which I've actually been wanting to use these ones. Um, we need to snap it though. Actually, let me just use these. Mm, the main reason I don't want to use these is because it does that on the end. But if we put these here, we can snap these ones on. Position snapping. Yeah, we can snap those like that. And then we can just slide them in. Makes it way easier. Um, I also want to put them on the line instead of on one of the sides of the line. So we just kind of tuck that in there. This just kind of helps divide the space, give them a little bit of privacy. So we'll do that, and we can go into habitat. We'll go ahead and put some sleep, uh, sleeping bits on there. Bedding. Let's use mm, large bedding. Sure. We'll just go ahead and use large bedding. Rotate that. So that can be where they kind of sleep. I'll put another one there. So that can be like their sleeping area, and then this will be their feeding area, which I don't know if we have... Um... Let's see. Species. Red kangaroo. Oh. Bam. Okay. So they just use these little bits here. So what we can do is put some food over here. Uh, we can use the large trough. Put one there. And like another one there. So they can feed over there and water. We can put a couple of water bowls over here for them. We can tuck them sort of into the wall. Like that. And they should be able to come through there just fine so they can eat, drink, sleep, everything they need to do in this building. And then what we'll need to do is adjust the barriers a little bit so they can actually get in here. And what we can do so let's delete all of these ones for now. And I'm going to build a new sort of barrier piece up here. Mm, we'll start, let's start in this corner. So we'll need to go there, sort of come across here so that the, um, gate can go in there. Just kind of squeeze that in there and then we'll go back this way and this way. Mm. Yeah, it'll go right there. Back there. Sort of up to this point and then we'll see if we can get it to connect to that. Perfect. And then it's going to come down this way. Just like that. And get it to connect 
to that. There we go. And then we can take this door. And let's move it. Boop. Move it up here. See if it will let us. Okay. And that's pretty exact, I think. Mm hmm Actually, that's pretty good. Now we just need to connect the path to it. And actually, so for the Australia, we actually, I, I went through and sorted out all of the path work. Um, so like this was the paths that we used for the North American area, and these are the staff paths for that area. And then if we come down here for Australia, I have it set for this. So this is our path, our walking path. Um, and then the blue will be sort of interior and the parquet will be for bridges. So since we're using staff path, we're going to want this one, which if you double click, it'll just grab it. Um, and that way we can put staff path in here. Line that up, get a little door over here. Like that. Yep. And let's have this sort of snap there for now. We're not going to connect it up to the main path. Um, not yet. Not until we figure out sort of what we're planning on doing with that. Um, I'm just going to straighten out those edges like that. And so that is basically the shape of their main habitat. I think what we'll probably end up doing is extending the roof about two meters higher here where the actual habitat is. So we'll kind of extend these walls up like that. Just because I like the animal uh, built like actual room that they go into a little bit taller so we're just kind of extend that by about a good two meter piece yep. and then that will just go there so their building is like a little bit taller um, than the actual staff building um, and so that will look like that what I'm thinking about doing what sucks is because I, I like having the staff door there but I kind of want to push it back. Just because I would rather, like, have this, like, there. Just keep the door there like that. I think that is, like, a better shape. Mm hmm I think we'll do that sort of have this open space here, but that's fine. Um, so we're just gonna leave it like that. So that's that for that that building there. And I think for the Australia um, roofing, what I think would be fun is kind of keeping this style here. We sort of use these flat roofs and glass pieces. So maybe we can do that. Because in that case, what we can do is if we get rid of this two meter that we just put in. Um, actually don't need to do that one. We can just get rid of this one. We can do... Let's go to glass. Um, we can get rid of the Australia pack. Um, and I basically want to grab some glass pieces, which which did we use? We used the thin ones. And we can put a basically like a glass one meter, yeah, like that. Sort of around this whole stretch here. Like that. Um, probably not there. Probably just there. We don't need to do it on the interior walls, which this is interior, which means we can just duplicate this piece. 
like that. Um, and then we'll go in with another one meter of the Australian wood. Um, on the top of that. Just to kind of frame it out. And I think what we'll do something like that. Maybe put another glass piece in there. Like that. Just so we sort of get that glass roofing to kind of help open up the space. And we can put another piece in there. Like that. And that should be the door. I think that should be big enough for them to get through. We'll have to check after we put them in. Um, but it should work. And then um, the roof over here, I think. So I don't want to do the glass around here as well. The thing with using a lot of glass like that is we have to use a lot of doing interior. What I think we'll do Um, I want to use sort of these flat roof pieces, um, and I use purple roofs over here since that was sort of the North America area, but Australia is supposed to be orange, so I'm going to change this to that orange color. Mm -hmm. And then what we can do is, we have snap rotation turned on, why is it like doing it weird then. So let me, maybe if we reselect it, I don't know, okay, yeah, we have that. Um, so then we can just like plop it up here. Like that, sort of build out this roof. And there, we don't want it to stick through all the way, but I don't mind having that sort of lip there. Um, actually, I'm gonna do that. I kind of want to push this. We're just gonna basically drag this all the way along the roof, and what we might need to do is switch out these pieces there that are visible from the outside into that, um... Australia wood. So I'm gonna flop all of this. I think we're gonna do like a little bit of a lip. Grab all of that. Just drag that down. Give it a little bit of a lip. Then maybe pull this piece in a little bit. And see, this is the thing I like about using the art pieces for walls or roofs like this. Can I get rid of that? No. Um, is that like you can use? like a bunch of pieces to kind of fill in the the shape good. So you can just kind of like squeeze that in, line it up. There we go. And so now it looks like one big smooth surface. And I like that. So we're gonna have to do, if I get rid of all these pieces here, we're gonna have to do this all the way around that, just cause it is visual from the outside or visible. So I'm going to pull that across, and then we're just going to basically do the same thing. There we go. And I can pull that in. We don't need that big of a lip on there. Do something like this. See if that's symmetrical. Something like this. And this should count as hard cover, I'm almost certain. I'm going to basically just drag this along. That. <laughs> Do you see him? That has to be a weed whacker. 
huh? But they already weed whack. No, that's a leaf blower. Is it? I'm right. They already weed whacked and leaf blowed. Yesterday, didn't they? That's so funny. Well. Hopefully it's not too loud in the mic. Okay. Anyway. Let's continue. <laughs> just filling this in. I don't think this orange is too much. Do you guys think it is? I'm just going to kind of give it a lip over here. I don't think this orange is too much. I think it's the right amount. Do that. And then we just need to pull another piece down. There we go. What do you think of the flat roof, y'all? I don't hate it. I just think it needs a little... Something is not right with it. Pizzazz. <laughs> I just think it needs something. I think maybe if we give it like a lip or something. Like, let me see. I think we have some metal pieces in here that could work. What is this? So not that. Like metal here. What are these called? I'm not sure. But these... Why are these all like slanted? We don't need diagonals. I just need like a straight beam. Um, these could work. So we can kind of like... Drag them along the edge. Or maybe, maybe, let's find like a nice thin square piece of like painted wood that we can recolor. What is this? Arbor beam? Um, can that be recolored? It can be. Although, it's a little... Not exactly what I was thinking. Um, it's like a painted. That way we can look up everything with the painted beam. Um, <laughs> you didn't hear it? Um, oh, these might be fun. Mm, they look a little too small. Those are rounded, but they're close. I want something kind of slim like that. Um, I kind of like these painted squares. We also have these painted beams, which if I change them to sort of like black... Black, what we want to do, or do we want to do like a really dark brown? You know? I think we'll do like a really dark brown. So let me sort of pull it into that brown area. Maybe something like that. I like that. And then we just need it to snap. something sort of like that which I don't think we can get it to appear on the top and the bottom it's like that's the oh okay so if we do this sort of slide that around Uh, let me get this smaller piece. <laughs> can we can you see them now? What are we doing? It's so annoying. <laughs> They're probably chopping down that bush.
You see them? Yeah, they're cutting down the bushes up by the front office. Yeah, of course. I feel like it's 2 o'clock. Let's go cut the bush by you. <laughs> Let's go put, cut the bush by me. This apartment. Rotate, please. There we go. So this is too long. Let me grab a little bit smaller one. I might move these up a smidge. Just because you can see them on the top, but if we zoom out any bit... <laughs> so... Let's see. Because it is... He's literally right here. <laughs> You're scaring my cat. I wonder if I turn on the jacket, <laughs> it's so loud! Uh. We should film this. Oh man, he's lucky. I was gonna film it. Alright, are you scared? Are you scared? You want to come sit with me? Come here. Come here. It's okay. Sweet little thing. Aww. She's scared. It's okay. <laughs> oh, look at her. He's almost done. It's a good thing we don't have like a... <laughs> It's a good thing we don't have like a corporate job where we need to have meetings. <laughs> anyway, let me just lower my mic. That might help. So, we're just going to continue building. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is build this whole strip here. I think I'm going to double it. Um, just because when we zoom out, we can't see that edge like I want to. So, we pull that through. What well, nice. A second of quiet. <laughs> I can't do this. They can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> First, our apartment complex doesn't cut the grass for like a month. In the middle of summer. It's two months? And then, they have all these people showing up to cut bushes, cut grass, Whatever. Um, this piece is probably going to have to go through a little bit. Because we don't have like a smaller piece. So something like that. 
And then we'll, what I'm gonna do is grab them all. Like that. There we go, so we have that whole edge. And I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna move it like down. And then I'm going to duplicate it and move another layer up. So we have sort of that lip there. Yeah. Kind of like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, maybe what we can do is... Uh, I don't know who that man is, but I hate him. <laughs> like, hold on. Great stream today, guys. I'm gonna post it on the Snapchat. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna basically work through this beam here. And hopefully, when I get done with it, he'll be done too. But I do like the way this, like, dark brown kind of looks with this orange. Let me pull this in. can't see that corner so I'm just gonna like assume they're leaving <laughs> they're getting wider <laughs> I guess So they also have to come through and leaf blow all that. So, it's great. It's a great day all. Well, at least I didn't do it during your meeting. That would have sucked. Let's just pull that all the way through. Boop, boop. size. Uh, that works there. Pull that through there. One, two. Pull that across. Oh, we're going to need to pull it down a little bit. This actually needs to be scooped in a little bit. Okay. So now I'm just gonna select all these pieces and basically just double them up. Oh my god. 
He's back. He's back. <laughs> He's like really cutting it down slim. That makes me very upset. Prim is probably so scared. They're like almost cutting that bush down to the like sticks. I wish it was just a buzz cut. They're like cutting it all the way down to the sticks. <sighs> like, they can't hide in there anymore, the cats. And also, we can't hide in here anymore. We're like completely visible now from all sides of the window. Anyway, I finished the border. I think it makes the roof look a little bit better. We'll probably want to end up doing like a border around like the um, the wind, like the walls. But what I'm gonna do is I'll probably do like a wall set, like off stream. So I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. Um, and then what we probably need to do is figure out some sort of barrier over on this side, which we can probably just get away with using rocks. Uh, if we just use maybe, let's see. Actually, let me get close to the mic. So if we go into nature, is there rocks that can be filtered by that? Let's see, content pack, we do Australia pack, are there rocks? No. Um, if we do biome, desert and grassland, let's do that. Let's turn off blueprints for now. So these are desert rocks, red desert, and savanna. Hmm, maybe savanna rocks is what we want. Can like sort of put a couple savanna rocks in here. And then maybe also sort of blend it with some desert and temperate rocks. Because that might work. So those are desert. And just kind of use some temperate rocks to kind of help blend that transition in. Like that. That kind of works. It's like a nice transition because this habitat is going to be sort of transitional, at least on this side. Because um, what I do want to do is sort of rock this up. So I'm going to probably do is just go in here with some of these temperate rocks. Sort of just kind of build some pieces here. And then we'll go in with some of the savanna rocks. Sort of put a couple of those in, like that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll use the desert rocks here. Just sort of sprinkle a few of those in some of these places. So it sort of gives us like a nice barrier rock wall there from this side. And I'm probably going to do like a nice like sort of faux wall 
thing. Um, let's see if we can... Uh, not good morning, good construction. So I want to use those um, Australia pack... I mean, Australia walls. These ones. Um, I just need this to, like, snap. Let me just kind of throw it on there for now. So I want to do something like this. And I'll basically have it like... Try and level with like that. Mm -hmm. And I'll basically just build this like wall ourselves. And then that way I can use the um, null barrier. So then what we can do is sort of... Let me just kind of... Are we in a building? We're not. So I'm going to grab all these walls and we're going to put them in a building. Mm -hmm. So I can multi-select like... That. Are these rocks in the building? No, they're their own thing. Um, there we go. So we can do a few more pieces at a time. Yeah, this is probably not going to be perfectly exact to the barrier. Do that. And then this one. Sort of rotate it. Um, probably not 45, right? Let me see, where's 45 go? Mm. Yeah, 45 is okay. Just sort of slide that into that rock there. So now we have this um, there. Dang. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab that sort of slide it around here. There we go. And so then what I just need to do is sort of pull these barriers to line up with that. Did you see Mr. Beast just hit 100 million? He's about to hit 100 million subscribers. He's doing a live stream right now. Um, of watching it hit that. So I'm going to do something like that, so that way it looks a little bit more uniform from this side. And then what we're going to do is I want to go and grab, so let's go back into that, and we're going to grab, hmm, so we have bark floor over here. I'm trying to think what we would grab uses floor and what I'm thinking is just concrete um that's probably the best option so I'm going to see if I snap that like that can we still snap it we are um we do there let me slide this up want to cover the top like that. And then over here, we want that to be wood on that side. So yeah, we basically have like this cement space over here, which what I'm going to do is basically just build it and then we'll adjust it. Um, so I'm going to pull a piece out of there. Just basically drag these along. And then I'm going to try and lower them to a way that they look like, um, sort of flush with the... Pull back in. And then we just need to rotate 
to take this whole thing at 45. Let's let me make sure this is right. So I want it to be as flush with this as possible. there and these pieces mm -hmm. just want to adjust this we'll pull these like this hmm. and I just kind of need to get that to be Lush, which what we can do is grab oop no duplicate some of these pieces sort of pull them into maybe like there and duplicate some of these pieces and pull them into like so a little bit further we just kind of need to keep well those ones down there are fine it's this one like platform there um this whole building here. Now what we need to try and do is kind of lower it to where it's like a level with the... Uh, which let me see. Get it like... There. So this level, that is pretty flush with the path. So let's put it there and then we can do go into this building and grab all these rocks. So I'll just lower them a little bit. And I'll lower them to like there so you can actually see the wall. Um, terrain. I'm just going to use the terrain tool to push some of this out of the way. Like that. Um, which this one we actually can't push it, that's fine. Um, sort of push a little trench there. Mm -hmm. And that will help with them being able to escape. So we'll do something like that. So people can still see down. Um, and then what I think I want to do is we go in here and I want to select of all these outside pieces and we're just gonna kind of scoot them in to like there <laughs> oh man That little bit of space there, and this one, we can get rid of it. There. wouldn't have expected anything less. <laughs> um, and so then we need to put some... Let me go in here. I want to lower this. I, make... I can't make that all there. So I want to lower that to like there, just so when it's not visible. Um, and then we need to put in some Fencing, which what we can probably do is in here. I think there is Australia. 
attack fencing. So we have this fence. We have this fence, which I do love that fence. And we also have this fence. Why? Well, that's not my problem. Um, I want this to snap. I guess it can't snap good, but that's fine. So what we can do... Something like that, and then like that. I do like this fence. I don't think it needs to be that full height. If we slide this over here to these people... Because if we do it the full height, it's like a full-on fence, but I think we can get away with, like, shrinking it down to maybe this height, so it's just sort of hip, hip height. I think that works. So let me just kind of squeeze a few of these in here, um, just so that we sh are showing that, that we're, like, not letting people just jump into the kangaroo habitat. And I also think this might help raise the barrier height a little bit. So we'll do that, and then I'm going to select all of these. We might need to scoop them back just a little bit. Probably like right about there. And we can just duplicate them. Like that. Does that look... Pretty good. Sliding that in there, and then take this piece. Like that. Now that has like a nice fence to help show that it's protecting from people being able to just go in there. Um, yeah, and I kind of like the way this looks with that drop off there, which we need to cut this grass. Um, so I'm just going to go to terrain. I think we're just going to make it um, dirt. To cut that grass there. And then, what I really want is the guests to actually be able to get pretty close to that, which right now the path ends like right there. So they won't be able to get into this area. But what if we get rid of some of this path? So that path there. And we'll leave all that there. But what we can do is sort of stretch this path out a bit. Which this area is still sort of North America. It's kind of complicated. Um, but what we're going to do is sort of make this big path here. Maybe try and like squeeze it. We'll do like that. We don't need snapping on at all. So I want this to be able to connect to that. But what we need to do is edit the terrain a little bit. Um, just kind of flatten this out to that. Let's see. That should work. So then what we can do is place a path sort of. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Perfect. And we can place it like right there. And then try and connect that up as if terrain too uneven. Maybe it's like a little over and even over here. So it lets us go there. And there. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Probably put it like here. Oop, so that will go there. That 
over there. So this needs to connect up to... So that actually can't connect now because it's like a, a hill. Um, let me get rid of this path. We can probably do so we would grab this whole building and just kind of put it over there we can actually get a good look of what's happening to the terrain under here so let me try and flatten this out as much as possible so we shouldn't be getting problems with the path doing that um, Basically, want to go out to like there. Um, so the train lets us build there and there. We should be able to connect this up pretty smooth, just like that. And then we can connect that up. Can we do it like a little? That's probably about good. Do that. Um, then we can just connect these bits up. Like that. And then there we go. So that path just comes a little bit closer to that lip there. Um, and that will allow guests to actually kind of walk sort of on the cement area. Just tuck that back in. Sort of right there, I think. Yeah, right about there. Um, and so guests will basically be able to kind of come up to right about here to kind of look. Huh? And they'll be able to come in and get nice and close on that railing so they can actually look into the habitat, which I kind of think is cool. Um, we'll have to do some covering up over here so this doesn't look so weird, but I don't think we can squeeze a path in there smoothly. So I'm just going to leave that. Um, I'm like raking all this stuff now. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to rake away all that grass that grew in that gardening bed. I hope they do. Um, I guess I don't need to rake it. I kind of got to till it. Uh, I want to smooth this. Up. Oops. Wrong button. That's fine. I think I want to smooth all of this out a bit. That should be good. And then this area over here. What are we going to do with that? Um, let's see. If we use the stamping tool, and I want to, I think what I want to do is have this area up on this level as well. Yeah, right about there. Um, maybe if we line it up actually more with like that level. We can have sort of like a little lower down area over here which I think the kangaroos will appreciate so we'll just kind of fill this in maybe we can put some water a water feature up here or something um, and then what we can do is sort of do like an incline here for them Blend that into there. Pull that down. Just like that. So we have a nice smooth climb up to there. And they'll also have a nice smooth climb up to there, which they can go up and down this more steeper cliff, but then this way they'll have like a um a little bit of a smoother way to kind of get up there. Okay. So now what we need to look at is, um, so this building I think is fine, and the inside actually this tree, 
needs to go. Goodbye. Does not need to be there. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Um, let's get maybe a kangaroo in here so we can kind of see how they're feeling about the size. Um, and see how they're feeling about like the terrain, what we need to change. Um, I'm just going to fix this really quick since so it actually comes out to here. Um, so we can actually kind of go in this area. We're going to definitely need to do some sort of restraint for them so they can't like just escape. I just kind of want to do something like that. Uh, I think we're going to need to raise this a lot because it is like underground. we'll do that. Can we actually make it like a solid? Yeah. So we can actually see where it is. Um, cause that's sort of like underground. Uh, we can also change that. This is atrocious. So let's just go ahead and kind of bring that down. Um, and having it sort of back there. How do we feel about that? Um, we'll see. We'll definitely cover it up with some trees and stuff. Oh, hello! We have a subscriber, but for some reason, it didn't tell me anything. My notifications are not working at all. Um, that sucks, and I can't get to Steam Labs to let me know. But thank you so much for the subscription. Um, yeah, I wish I could have gotten that notification about that, but it didn't alert me at all. I don't know why. So events. Yeah, it has the thing right there. Hmm. Let me try. Go back onto Steam Labs. It did not let me do it last time. It was very upset about that. Um, or the stream was, so I couldn't like get logged in. So let's see if maybe it's a little bit easier right now. Um, because before everybody was on the internet, so it was very slow. So let's see if it will load. Okay. Uh, we want to go to Streamlabs. Um, I'll just have to test one of the... Maybe it logged me out. It might have logged me out. I might have to re-log in. Um, we are logged in. So we are logged in. I'm not sure why it just decided to cancel. Uh, let's test a follow. Nothing. Okay, okay. Um, so this is my alert box. to follow. Hmm, nothing. That's very strange. It's very strange. Um, maybe we can try, let me go check my alert, not alert box, I just did that. Um, yeah, the chat's not showing up either. So copy that. Go to chat. Same. Yeah, for some reason it's just like not working. Let me know when we press the refresh button. Hmm. The only way I could think to fix that would be to close out of stream or close out of OBS, but I really don't want to do that. You're leaf blowing into the house, dude. That's not that's not how it works. <laughs> the leaf flow into the street. Absolute chaos outside. My my stream is like not listening to me. Hmm. I'm not quite sure why.
I'm logged in and everything. But it just does not want to work today. But whatever. I guess we'll just kind of... Okay, we'll just kind of move on. Uh, we can also turn off cat cam. Don't need that. Um, okay, so let's go grab some cool, uh, some kangaroos, and we have plenty of space for them. So we have 23,000, so that means we can fit 12,000 square feet worth of kangaroos, which are... We could fit 15 kangaroos in this habitat. Do you think we should fit 15 kangaroos? Um, maybe not. It's kind of a lot. Um, it does say that they recommend one to nine. So we could probably, you know, let's just do that. We'll get one male and we'll get like five females maybe and then do like three babies. Does that seem like a good plan? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So let's do, let's go to the market. So we want one male and five females. Let's get a nice, I want a large male. I want them to be big and scaly. Um, female. Okay, let's get one, two, three, four, five. Let's just do six. Um, and then the males. So, here's what we have for the male option. We have Jarly, which he's not the biggest, but he's just kind of, like, mid. Um, this guy, his name is Ural Paril. Ural Paril. Um, he's a decent size, however, he's not expected to live that long. Um, he's got low fertility, which doesn't look good for us for having babies, and he's pretty immune. What we probably will do is play the game and let those two minutes pass, um, because this one's got two minutes and he's got two minutes, and that might let us... Oh, the chat's working. Phenomenal. Um, maybe that was what I needed to do, is just add those new, those new codes. Weird. Um... Let's let those two minutes pass by. Maybe I can try and... You know, the new alerts, the alerts weren't working. Well, I mean, I turned on alerts. I did the same thing I did with the chat with the alerts, so maybe it will work. Um, okay, so that listing has expired. We should have about another 45 seconds. And this listing will expire. Okay. So, we can refresh this. Let's look at the males that we have now. So this one, still not good stats. This one, better stats, right? Um, not the biggest in size. Immunity is not that good either. However, longevity is good and fertility. So, I guess um, Daku is going to be our kangaroo. Let's adopt him. Um, and let's go ahead and grab all these kangaroos here. And we will send them to this habitat. Which, is it connected? It is not connected by path yet. So let's actually connect that up. So this is now the Australia area of the zoo. So we're actually going to transition into this path. something like this and then we just gotta get the staff path connect that up yes I know you guys can't get to them yet um, so then we can do that and then this gravelly bit we're gonna change to um, let's do bark for a little bit because we're still transitioning out and then we'll have it like transition like right there in the middle so like visually we can't see that transition but that's where we'll know that it switches out um so what we need to do now actually is make a whole new work roster so let's go ahead and do that um and what we'll do let's go to staff work zone we're gonna create a new work zone 
And it's gonna have all this in it. Um, yep, just that. And this is going to be our Australia zone. There we go. And we need to get some workers in our Australia zone. So let's go down here. We're gonna go to paths. I mean, not paths, staff. Um, let me pause the game so I can throw them all down. So we're gonna get maybe. Let's do two caretakers for now. Um, we'll just get. Hmm, Let's get one keeper for now. Um, get a mechanic to care for the habitat. Um, security, sure, we'll get one security. Make sure nobody's throwing stuff into the habitat. Vendor, we don't need. We'll get a, a vet. And then we'll get an educator. And that is our crew. We go to work zones. We have our unstaffed workers here. We can select all of them. Which, uh, that vendor should not be there. Um, should be just one educator, one vet, one keeper, one security, one mechanic, and two that. And they are all going to be put in our Australia. I don't know who that is, but I'm assuming... Oh, that's that one guy that actually got placed because I was texting that, um... Uh... That, um, shop. So I'm actually just going to fire him. Sorry, dude. Um... Yeah, so now we have all these workers. They should be able to get the kangaroo in for us. You'll see them all kind of getting to work. There you guys go. Um, and we have... How many did we get? We had six females and a male. So they should be launching them <laughs> into this habitat. Um, they're also going to need food and stuff. And they're not going to be too happy because they're going to have like no toys. He's going to check the habitat for us. Are you guys going to grab these animals for us? Or has that movement been cancelled? So animal trading. These animals are not in animal trading anymore. Oh, there they are. The other guys got to them. That's good. Thank you guys. Thank you for your hard work. Um, so here come our kangaroos. Let's see if we can find our male. I think that's our male right there. Daku. There he is. Let's put him on contraceptives. For now. Look, there they go. And I'm gonna pause it because they seem eager. And I'm gonna make sure they can't escape this habitat really quick. Um, so traversability. Uh, they can't get out over here, which is good. Um, what does that symbol mean? Jumpable escape. So they can just jump right out of here, which we could fix this by either raising this rock or lowering that rock. So I'm going to do a little bit of bolt to raise that rock up a bit. And lower that rock down a bit. I shouldn't be able to jump out there. This is completely jumpable, which makes sense. It's not tall enough. So let me go into barriers back here. Uh, and we need to be... to be like 10 feet so there we go 9.9 .9. so all of this needs to be that height oh no so we'll do yep yeah, right about there that's good for now uh this gals figure that out in a second. So let's actually grab Janali Gen here. And we're going to test her. Oh my god, I'm running so fast. Let's test, see how she feels about the habitat. So she can't escape. Perfect. Um, can she get into all of these sleeping areas? She can. And can she get to all the food? Yes. She can. Perfect. And where's our male? Let's just check on him because he's going to be a little bit bigger. We want to make sure he can still fit into all these places. Um, he can. And yep, they can sleep in all those places too. So perfect. So they can fit in there. Um, what I'm going to do now is let's take a look at how he feels. Social group actually is good. Um, terrain. So... Snow is good. Um, 
correct amount of tolerance. They can tolerate zero snow. They don't want, or they do like sand. They don't are indifferent about sand. Um, rocks. Actually, this is like a pretty okay terrain, although it's kind of ugly. Um, what I think I'm going to do, we'll go into terrain. They like a lot of long grass. They don't like too much rock. So what I think I'm going to do is take some sand and actually kind of put a little bit down here in this like pit area. Just put some sand there. Um, maybe sweep some around kind of this area. Uh, for them and then what I think is I think we'll kind of keep this area under here like that heavy soil so I like sort of these inside areas to be the soil so we'll do that um, and then what I think we'll do is put a bit of rock sort of this area sort of along these edges here like that um, and then we'll grab maybe a little bit more sand and sprinkle it in there in these places. And then we're going to go in with some short grass, but with like low intensity. Kind of sprinkle some grass on top of all that. Like that. Definitely put some more grass in here. I think we're going to put some water up here. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to put some dirt in there or grass in there. I think in general that's pretty okay. Um, let me put some water in here for them. I think some water would be kind of cool. Um, let's go to terrain, terrain stamp and we're going to go to negative. And I'm basically going to turn this whole kind of corner into some water. I don't think they can actually swim. So the water should help with sort of escapability. Um, we're just going to kind of put some water in this whole area here. like that and then we just need to sort of smooth out this spot for them so we'll kind of go in there yeah we'll do something like that that should allow them to theoretically sort of be able to go into this water, although I don't think they can actually swim. Um, I'm just going to smooth this out a bit. And we're going to kind of fill this all in with sand, I think. Like that. Um, and then what I want to do with this border... Yeah, I, I know, I know. Right? Get rid of that. Mm, that's gonna stay there. Let's kind of square off this. Just like it kind of already is. Now we can get a nice path kind of over here. I'd rather have that more squared off since the uh, there's that curve already there. We don't want a whole bunch of curves. Um, kind of lower that to like there uh, and then yeah we can throw some water in here <sighs> oh my god we almost drowned them all ah no there there we go so we just got some water in there for them but like I said, I don't think they can even swim, but it will be kind of useful in, because then that way what we can do is take this all right here, turn that into no barrier. Oh, the water is on those edges I didn't think they were. Oops. We can take all that, turn it into a no barrier. The water should still be able to go in there. Um, and then this one might just need to move sort of in like that. Let's put some water in here. Ah! I keep flooding the whole thing. There we go. I went right there. And since they can't swim, they shouldn't be able to escape out of those areas. But let's check. 
Let's turn on traversability. It's probably gonna get all confused. Yeah. We got all confused because of the water. We'll have it recalculate. So yeah, they can go into that water, but because of that, that means that they can't um, escape out of there, which is awesome. Um, and then if we mess with the barrier here, I want to see how much um, they can actually escape right there. So let's get rid of that. And then I want to select this kangaroo here, look at his traversability, and see. So we can actually push this back to like that spot there because they can't actually escape right there, which is awesome. So let's uh, select this. I'm gonna add a spot. So it's like right there. And then we can change this into cement. We can pull this actually here. Well, I guess not. So we'll do that and then this one can does not need to be a big ass, big concrete piece. So we can do that. And then that will basically be covered by trees and stuff, so it won't be that bad. But that way this is like kind of nice and open. And then what we can do is have like a path, which we need to make sure we're using our um, Australia path. And we can kind of eyeball this, maybe like there. I'll align that to grid. Yeah, that's pretty good. We can sort of do like an observation deck thing there. Yeah, like that. That's kind of cool. And then we can have like the um, education thing in there so people can come here and like learn about the kangaroos, which actually let's get rid of that much. Yeah, actually, let me do this, because I want this to be elevated like this, but I kind of want it, like, there. Yeah, that lines up a little bit better. We'll just kind of have this oops, go here, and we should be able to do sort of like a ramp. Yep, so I want to do, like, a bit of a ramp there to show that it's kind of like a different height. Um, and then what we can actually do is change all of this to that floor there, since this side is now the Australia side. All of this can be this path. Um, yeah, and I think we'll change it sort of right there. Trying to want anything for placement. It's already placed, so we just want to change the color. And so then like, that path will kind of go like this way. If we align this to this grid. I'll make it a little bit bigger, maybe. Um, and then we can bring this down to like the 15. this stretch back there we have to figure that out we don't really want it to be that straight but um that works for now and we can have this like there and this will be like a nice building um so we can view the kangaroos and then there's pretty much tons of visible area for the kangaroo so let's get let's do some nature now um so what we can do is put some rocks sort of in these areas especially this spot where like this barrier just ends and I'm using some desert rocks and then what I want to do is go in with some savanna rocks sort of blend out that color and then we'll just squeeze in some temperate rocks just because we want to make sure we're kind of Feathering out of the North American area. Do something like that. Maybe grab a few different shaped rocks like this and sort of squeeze those in there. There we go. 
know, there's kind of like a little rock formation back there, and they could probably stand up on that and stuff. Um, and this area right here just kind of seems weird, just having it like open but we might put like a faux fence there because we are gonna have a building here so we might be able to put like foliage that kind of blocks that we have some rocks there and there so i think that kind of works for the rocks um we might put some rocks over here so let's grab the temperate rocks um and we'll just kind of throw a few in like this one in there and then we'll grab some savannah rocks kind of blend those in there as well and then our desert rocks rocks all in there perfect um and then now we just need to do some trees maybe not too many because like i said in that picture this area was mostly grass um we just had like a few areas of trees um but let's do this and i think i'm gonna do is keep it desert grassland but i want to specifically pick Luciana. Let's see what we're working with um we have a lot of cactuses these trees here Yes, I like these. So we'll put like one of those there. Maybe one of those there. And squeeze like this one back in there. Actually, no, let's put this one sort of over here. Kind of like that. Um, these palm trees, I don't think these are exactly what we need. We might be able to squeeze one in like right over here. Bushes. Need some more trees though. What do we have here? This little tree. Squeeze these in. These might look kind of cool over here. Kind of help blend out this uh, visible area here. We put a couple of these in. Make them nice and small. And then, let's see, what other trees are there? We have some flowers, we have some more pot, we have the ghost gum. I guess these are some trees. Ooh, we can put this one back there, that one looks awesome. Put this one back there. And we have eucalyptus. Actually, let me move those gum trees. I'm gonna put this big eucalyptus back there. Big eucalyptus back there. Maybe like a little one sort of over here as well. Then we can put the gum trees in. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Beautiful. Right? Does that look cool? I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and then let's see. We just have a few of these grassy bits, which we can kind of around on the floor. We'll put like these. Kind of spread them around like that. Um, we have some of these uh, cactuses. We can put a few of those around. Some really tiny cactuses. These ones, maybe we can put this one in. Like that. Yeah, and we'll kind of do that around sort of all these areas too. Um, yeah, so I want to use these as well. Small, large. Yeah, let's use the large one. 
gonna put a couple of those around. Gonna come over here. Put a couple of those there. Um, reeds. And go over here. Kind of help blend in that area there. Just kind of do something like that. building. Um, I do want to add like a lot of these like little grass things in sort of down here. is in some of these bushes. There we go. Yeah, I like that. It's very nice. Definitely some places to kind of go um, and hang out. So now let's put some of their enrichment items on. Actually, what I want to look up, I don't think elephant grass suits this area. But, like, just grass in general is very much kind of, like, in this area. So I want to kind of just throw some of these, like, really sunken down. Just to show, like, some really kind of grassy areas. How does that look? Yeah, I don't mind that. Let's kind of throw that in there. Um, so let's go look at their habitat. Let's see. So bed and shelter, we have that. Some enrichment toys, let's look at food. So we have a graze ball. We put in here, we have these clean grazers, which I like to put sort of by these trees. We can put some over here, maybe over here. Probably another one up here. That's all they have for food enrichment. And toys. So do we need to research more? I thought I turned off research. Oh, apparently not. I guess we need to research the kangaroo. I swore I turned off research so that we would just like know everything we need to know. Um, that's fine. So let's just put a few other little toys in here for them. Let's put a soccer ball in here. Um, we can put a little ducky in the water. Put one in, like, there, one over here. Uh, we can also put in this pretty little ball. Put that up here. This beach ball. Put it right there. It's probably gonna fall in the water. We can get a sprinkler. A sprinkler, like, over here for them to play with. Uh, and some scent enrichments. I'm just gonna sneak those in here in some of these little bushed areas. Maybe not down there, but in sort of like these bushy areas. Okay. Climbing, they don't climb. Okay, cool. So this should be enough enrichment for them. Let's see how they feel. Let's play the game. And yeah, so they have 98%, which the only reason is because their last meal wasn't the best, which if we select this, it's being carried sickness, yeah, they're sick. Um, you need to see a vet. Can we call someone to come grab you? Vet. There we go. Just because they seem sick. Okay. And then what we need to do is look at um, here what we were doing. Last meal quality, that's what we were doing. So I wanna grab that, we'll go here to the animals and make sure they're getting, okay, 
Okay, so right now they're only getting food one quality, which we need to do a little bit of research and hopefully that will be able to be updated. I thought I turned off research. Let's go into settings and see. So we go into settings, we go into sandbox, we go into animal settings, I think it is. Um, oh, it didn't save my settings. I had it set to creative. Creative presets, yes. Apply those. Disable research will overwrite your research. Blah, 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 blah. Make sure you want to do it. Yes. Okay. Resume. I thought we already did that. Wow, look at all these people. Look at these kangaroos. See, I like the way that looks. See how that's kind of cool? They're like up along that railing. Kind of all looking in. Okay, so now we just did that. Um, that should uh, have unlocked all of our research for them, which means we can click this, go to animals. We should be able to put them on grade three food. Um, and then we can now go into habitats. And let's take a look at some other things. So yeah, we have this barrel thing. I want to put back here this barrel feeder. We also have this suspended forager. Cool. Let's put this. I kind of want to put it amongst the trees. I'm just kind of put it in there for them. And then toys. Did we get any new toys? We didn't. But that's okay. Um, so we have that. So they should be happy with everything now. 100%. Last meal quality is still a little bit low, but that is okay. Um, and let's take a look at shelter. Let's see, so we have staff traversable area. Good. They can hit all the toys. Um, shelter. So the only places they can go to get really good shelter is in here. So that's good. So we should see them kind of heading out and heading to there. Um, it might be worth it to try and do, let's try and do something like this. How about this? Let's, um, we'll go into this building. I want to get some rocks. Um. If we grab some, kind of mix it up. So I'm going to grab a, one of these. If we kind of like build some sort of a kind of cave. So what rock is this that I just grabbed? Savannah. So let's go grab... Oh, that was desert. Okay, so let's go grab savannah. Rocks and just something kind of like... This. And then I want to get temperate as well. We'll grab some of that flat temperate rock. Move that in like that. Uh, maybe take mm, a bigger flat rock. Kind of something to fill in this area, which I guess we can use this one generally. Do it there. And go here. I'm gonna kind of rotate it like. Lower that down. Which I will do this one. Um, basically, this just should provide them with like some, some, just some little. Uh, what did I click the wrong button? I want to go into this building, please. And I want to flip this actually the other way, like that. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, something like that. So it's sort of just kind of a flat area here for them, but that does provide them with like a nice shelter area, which I can use some terrain editing. And we can kind of push this a little flat for them. We can make this a little much smaller. Uh, that's the push tool. I want to use the 
think I just flatten this area out under here and then maybe push that a little bit. That is the pull tool. Push that a little bit. So they can actually like walk down here. a little bit. That should be good for getting down there. And just smooth it out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually paint this to be more dirt down here. Yeah, so we should be able to just kind of jump down there. Maybe we can put like a little bed in there. Um, and this should provide them with like a little bit of shelter. Let's use like a medium bed. Just kind of fill that in like that. So let me grab a kangaroo and we will check traversability. Oh, so that does provide shelter. Good to know. Oh, there's actually one in there. So that provides shelter, but let's look at traversable area. Um, so they can't really get over there, but that's fine. So they get some nice shelter in there. So that will help them kind of, because look at them. They're all squeezing down here because I'm almost certain that all the shelter is like down there or for some reason they're all just like down there like hanging out. I don't know. But that way, this way they have like a little space to kind of squeeze under there and hide. You can see there are already some down there uh, and kind of get away from the visuals. So that works. Uh, the only thing we need left to do is sort of work on this building. Yeah, kind of. They were kind of creepy. Yeah. Oh, and then the shaded area. Yeah. Just kind of gives them some nice shade. Um, I think what we're gonna do now is work on this building over here, which this is going to be sort of their educational area, um, or the educational area. So what I'm gonna do is, well, let's go do this, let's do this. How about we go to construction? I'm gonna start in this building. And I'm gonna pull out these pieces. So we have a flat wall and we have a door piece and then we have a windowed piece. And that should pretty much be it. Oh wait, no, we have the um, arches. Just go. Excuse me, this way. And basically, what we're gonna do is adjust or decorate these wall pieces so we can just duplicate them instead of having to um, build new ones every time. So, what I'm gonna do is grab these wall pieces, which, what were these called? Painted. Um, oops. Planet Zoo Beam Square Painted. So let's look at the painted. Um, are we gonna be in here? Planet Zoo, yep, yeah, here it is. Uh, is that good? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is basically do like a little bit of detail work. And what I'm thinking is, Oh, just found your page of the kangaroo habitat. Yeah, so many cool viewing areas. That was the idea I had. I wanted it to be kind of very visual just because I would imagine kangaroos are pretty like, um, like in real life, like going to see kangaroos at a habitat or like an, at a zoo is like a, a lot of people want to see kangaroos because they're very cool and weird looking and you don't really ever get to see them in real life. Um, so I was like, oh, a lot of people are gonna probably want to see these kangaroos. So I was like, I'm gonna do some really cool viewing areas. And my god, look at all these people! Why are there so many people in my zoo right now? There are not supposed to be this many people. Pause this game. I had a 750 person limit on this zoo. And there are 1,800 people in here right now. Um, so let's go to guests. Guest maximum is at 2,000. I don't really want it at that high just because um, it's just kind of laggy. Let's lower it down to like 1,000 at least. Let's do that. Let's apply that. Um, you definitely want to see the kangaroos. Yeah, definitely. I love seeing. I think they're so weird. Like, 
you ever see them in real life. Like, they're very creepy looking. They're, like, very muscular. <laughs> so let's do that. That should help get rid of some of these people out of here. Because it's so laggy. The way they balance on their tails. Yeah, that's weird, too. And they just have, like, pecs. Like, isn't that weird? Like, look at this. Look at that! Look at the feet! Look at them! <laughs> Those are terrifying! Also, the fact that a kangaroo could kill you, like, with one kick. Right? Can't they just, like, huh, and just, like, out. Like a light. Okay, if we're gonna need people to leave the zoo, it's so laggy. We have a limit now on guests. You're gonna have to leave. Look at them all. Just sneaking in here. Get out! It's time to go. Look at it! Stop coming in the zoo! Oh my god. Are they gonna kick them out? It's like Bush Gardens. Yes, basically. How are they gonna lower these numbers? We're at 2,000 people. We're at over 2,000. I had a limit. They're still coming in. They're still coming in. Guest settings. Limit the number of guests to 1,000. Please resume. Leave. We're at 2,044 people. People need to start need to start leaving. Click apply. Does it not do it if you click OK? No, oh, see limited guests to a thousand. Apply apply just does it to where you don't have to close out the settings menu so you can go do more stuff, but okay closes out the menu. Leave. Get out of here. Can't fast forward. Leave. It's like those the thing on um Oh good. Get out of here. Everybody's leaving. Um it's like the thing with the the airlines. It's like, "Hi, since you were the last one to check in, we're actually going to have to remove you from the plane so that uh we can do a uh, employee transfer." It's just our policy. Look at this! This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! All these heathens standing here to stare at one single little prairie dog. Like, it's just a prairie dog. And they're like gawking at it. They're like, oh my god. Like, how terrifying. It's like real life, like social media right here. Look at this poor thing! All these fucking people! He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go into my little fucking wool. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, bye guys. <laughs> Terrifying. I remember earlier when we were playing this game, there was a pronged horn uh, sleeping, like wrapped up in a little ball right here, and everybody in the zoo was like standing there, staring at it. Oh, you like the cactus? Thank you. Um, and I was like, Just settle down, guys. Settle down. It's a pronged horn. It's an antelope. Well, actually, it's not an antelope, but you know what I mean. Anyway. I just think it's weird. I just think the whole fascination with just visually seeing animals is kind of weird. Let's see, is it busy over on the other side of the park? No, it's like super dead on the other side of the park. Yeah, there's like nobody down here. Uh, I'm playing games if you said something before. Oh, it's Colton! Colton! Cool! Hi, Colton! <laughs> um, oh, there's tons of people looking at the bears. Makes sense. I feel bad for our alligators because nobody wants to view the alligators. Nobody comes in here and looks at them. Look at that. There's like one person who's just like, meh. I thought alligators were cool. Alligators are one of my favorite things to look at. I mean, more people look at the pronghorn, the, the uh, deer, than the Wow. Could you imagine? Look how close this guy's about to get. <gasps> oh my god. Could you imagine walking in there? Wow, the zoo's huge. Oh yeah, it's, it's getting pretty big. I mean, right now, we have, so like this area down here is all of our North America area. And we just finished it last stream. So now we're starting on Australia. This is our first, uh, 
first habitat in Australia. I don't even know if I have my map still. I want to show you the map since you haven't seen it. Let's see if it'll pull up. Can you guys see that? This is our map. <laughs> it's a little outdated. I need to do some updating. But you can see down in the bottom corner that that's the... I had it originally called Great American Plains, but I realized it's not. It's North America. Um, so we did that. Uh, but now we're over here sort of in the middle working on Australia. Exciting. I need to do some work on Adobe Illustrator and actually like adjust that because it is um, a little outdated. We changed the way the North America area looked a little bit. Um, let me go back over here. So what we're going to basically do is I think what I want to do is sort of put these poles. Oh, my game's getting a little laggy. I want to put these poles sort of on all the edges here. And then we're basically just going to do like some thin outlining um, just to give it some interest so it's not super boring on these buildings. Um, and that way what we can do is basically just copy and paste these sections. Um, whew, copy and paste them onto the different areas. And what I might try and do is sort of do uh, the concrete on the inside. I did that on the last wall frame and it made the insides like different than the outside framing and I kind of like that so we might do that as, again. But this is going to be much more simple framing than what we did for the North America walls because North America I kind of wanted to do a little bit more detail line work and stuff since we're not doing a European part of the zoo. I felt like um, I wanted the North America to kind of encompass that. So this is the smallest beam we have. Oh, what I'm going to try and do is outline this door, which I think this beam is a little bit longer. Do we hate the idea of, um, oops, not wrong way, this beam kind of sticking out a little bit? I don't think I hate that. That's fine, I think. I mean, let's outline these windows a little bit. I centered it, of course. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna outline because I really like the way like these really dark beams kind of look with this Australia walls. Um, it's a nice contrast. Oh, so these are like way bigger than those windows, but maybe we can do like this. To sort of imitate the doorways as well. So we're just gonna do like those lines there. Don't mind that. And then we just need to do these. Which I think I'll do sort of stick them out a little bit on this side as well to kind of imitate that. So we have this like similar kind of motif going on. Yeah, ties the two together. That's what I'm saying. So we have like a motif kind of vibing. So I'm going to pop this one out there. Um, and then we need to do a nice long one on the top. I think the board of the top. Something like that. Maybe we should border the bottoms as well. We'll do that. These are much simpler than the um, North American walls, but I like them like this. I think I'm gonna do like a small beam like across the bottom like that, just something like that to kind of give it a little bit of point as well. Um, and then what I think I'm gonna try and do is find like a square cemented piece. So these are painted brick. Let me see if this kind of looks like what I'm thinking. Um, if we can paint it, can we paint it a different color? Let's paint it like... Is orange kind of wild? Like, do we want to do orange down there? Like, is that kind of fun and different? Because it'll help tie in the orange roofs that we're going to do, I think. Um, so we can do that. 
We could also use like. Mm, we do have these pieces, which are a little bit more vibrant. They're wooden as well. But I kind of like the idea of doing some sort of a cement piece down there. Um, do we have any just like cement? Ooh, we do have this. What is this? Temple Painted Stone Support. I kind of like this because it's like messy. And it has like a beveled edge on it. I kind of like that. What does that look like in our orange? Yeah, I think I'm feeling that. Uh, let's do that. I'm gonna kind of try and... Ooh, it's actually quite big. That's fine. I'm gonna put that across on these ones. We need to get the smaller one. I hope this fits perfect. and we'll see how it fits when we do the different buildings. Okay, so that looks good like that. Not gonna lie, I thought the in-game train noise was real life train. <laughs> yeah, basically, always trains. Can't get away from them. Um, so we'll do that, and I think that looks really cool on the front. And then what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab sort of these outline pieces, so not the actual wall, please. Um, and I'm gonna push them back on the other side um so that they can frame the inside as well so i'm actually going to grab all these pieces uh I, well let's not we're not going to frame the door the window because if we're using a window it's because it's got a shop on the other side so we don't need to do that grab all these little pieces like that and then i'm just going to control and duplicate them Basically just slide them over to this other side, like that, perfect. And then what I'm going to do um, is we're going to take, um, hold on one second, my keyboard is gonna die. Uh, I wanna take the off the grid concrete pieces and sort of put them on top of these sides so that the inside of the buildings are slightly different. Um, so we have painted brick. I want to use concrete because in my head I feel like concrete makes the most sense so that like when the keepers have to come and clean out the areas um, that the animals are in, they can just basically spray these buildings with like bleach and stuff and it can be clean. So let's try and get this to snap on something. There we go. Do we have snapping on? We do. So basically, if we sink this in just enough, it shouldn't pop out on the other side and it'll just be visual on this side. So we'll do that. Which actually, now that I think about it, we don't need to do this one because it shouldn't be visible if we're using it. It should be covering... Um, like a facility or something, so the inside shouldn't be visible. So I'm basically just gonna do that. Um, is this too big? It is. So it's these square ones. Is this too big? Okay, so we have to use the roof. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that you can't like move multiple ones on the grid at all. There we go. And so then the inside you'll see will have like a different texture.
I should be a good amount, so I think it should push through. Just like that. And now these ones, I remember them being a little bit tricky because of that top portion. I should be able just to slide that in. But the top bit is a little thin. Um, but I think we should be able to use these pieces. We just gotta try and line it up like perfect. Yeah, like that. Nice! So now we have our little wall set. Very simple. Um, what I might do, just to add a little bit of detail, is for these pieces. Um, and these ones. And maybe the window piece. I'm going to sort of push, duplicate them back. Um, just to kind of fill in that sort of lip there. I think that looks good. So now we have this super cool doorway system. Um, let's do a little bit of detail on the door here. So for the Australia door, do we have like an Australia door? Go to content packs. Um, did they give us a door? They did. They give us windows. They didn't. Did they give us decorations? Did they give us anything? Um, we got the shop, the sofas. Do these look like they would be worth kind of tucking in here to give us a little bit of detail? Yeah, put those there. Um, Then on the doorway, what I want to do is let's just select like some maybe utilitarian door, which I think these ones down here at the bottom tend to do. So let's grab this one, snap that into place. Do we have position snapping turned on? Guess not. Should snap right into that place, but not. Okay, let's like tuck this back. Sort of put it through there like that. I like that. And then what I like to do with the doors is actually kind of open them a little bit. So we'll do that. And just tuck it in there like that. There we go. So now we have a little door on there. And what we can do now is go into facilities. And we'll go to security and we can select these cool little doors here. And I'm gonna make sure it's aligned to surface. Is that aligning? Oh, it's like snapping. Turn that off. Yeah, I wanna put that there. And then let's see if we can get a little sign. Uh, a really small little sign that we can sink into the door. So let's do wall signs um, editable. Because so I think there's just one that's small enough. Mm, yeah, it might be this one. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to write it to staff only. There we go. And then we should be able to sink this in there just right. Yes, and just have the words stick out like that. Which is going to need to be just a little bit off kilter so it's not visible. There we go. So now we have that cute little 
staff only. Actually, this is also not centered. Let me smoosh that over just a bit. There we go. Staff only sign. Um, oh, these do not. Oh, it's actually completely visible. Uh, can we maybe sink it back just a little bit more? Let's try and get it just right. Okay, we do that. Yeah, it is a little bit visible when we zoom out, but that's gonna be okay for me. Um, on this wall, do we have any cool, um, Australia pack decorations that we can kind of do some fun stuff with? So we want to go to props, maybe. Themed props. No, let's get rid of blueprints. I do not want to see the blueprints. We don't need to see the blueprints. Um... Fencing, no. Flags, no. Archways, general props, uh, no. Uh, decals, no. Center pieces, we have a kangaroo. We have a kangaroo. I forgot about this. It's like a robot. We also have this beautiful statue. Uh, and then maybe let's get a wall decorations, maybe. These, which actually might look cool above the door. Like that. Um, we have a ton of these little decorations that they gave us. Do we want to do sort of like a detail pattern, kind of? Maybe down here, like sort of something going on. Maybe we can do. Wiggle across. Mm hmm. We take some of these circles. Maybe put them sort of in that area there. I don't know why it's all black and white, but. See, actually, let me turn on blueprints and sort of see like what. Ooh, actually, let's do this. We'll just do like a. So it'll just like a different color at the bottom. I think this actually needs to be pushed back a little bit. It's very close. like that. So that will just kind of give it like a small a little little detail to work with. We'll do that. Um, these I think are fine. Kind of like the window thing like that. I was just thinking like something like how this window has like these little details like that. I kind of would like to do something like that at the bottom of this but I'm just not seeing like how do they do that design? Like a circle and like things. So let me turn on blueprints because we have like these little like we have a little koala detail and like this little um gecko thing and I kind of like that that's so cute little thingy I like the um shapes so I want to do something with them so let me grab one um, and let's see. So we have like these semicircle pieces. So maybe I can put one. Maybe sink them into the wall a little bit. Let's see, they're not in front of our object. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I think I will flip it. Boop, 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 boop. And see if we can get it to like kind of tuck in there like that. Yeah. Kind of cool. Maybe we'll rise it or lift it up a bit. Sort of like that. Is this not connected to this building? It is not. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we have 
have like this. Then what we can do is maybe get yeah, some squares. So these the okay. so we can get maybe a square there and a square up here. Like that? No. I want it sort of more up here. We'll do that and then maybe we can get like some sort of a shape. see these medium circles will fit well here. Get these medium circles. Nice. And then maybe some triangles, some smaller triangles. Maybe do like one there. Pop it there. And so now what we can do, I think is adjust these colors. Because I grabbed all of them. So right now it has them so let's do our first color, our orange. Mm -hmm. I like that. And then maybe the second color, we can do sort of like a yellow. Mm -hmm. It's like a white yellow. And then these ones, we can do the little mill dots, like the green. Ooh. Oh yeah, let's do that and then change these red ones to like this. White. And then let's take these and make that middle orange, that green. Like, what do we think of that little design? Does that kind of just add like a little bit of oomph? A little bit of something something to the to the build? And then maybe, oop, no, take that back. Maybe we can take these little wooden beams that we were going to put there. And we can go to art shapes and get like a flat mm, rectangle. Okay, let's do this one. Um, let's see. I'm gonna see if we can push this down. Yes. And we gotta sink it back so everything's in front of it like that. Maybe we can do this like a nice dark brown like that. Sort of fill this in. Yeah. So like what are we thinking about that? Like does that just give it a little bit more detail? And then maybe we can do these features like on these instead. Um, so maybe we can do this flat rectangle uh, and a little square, I think. And do that in here. Sort of fill in this space. There. And we'll sort of do like a design on there as well. So let's go into wall decorations. Okay, so for this one, I think what we'll do is maybe like a nice big triangular piece, sort of like off kilter. And then maybe we can put like a square piece here, and maybe like a circle in. A circle? Kind of like that. Um, okay, we just need to adjust the colors a little bit. So let's see. Um, we have the green, we also have the orange, which needs to make a statement, um, and then in this red one, we can change that red to like this, this color there, there we go, so that sort of ties it in, I think, maybe if we take this and we change that orange to sort of the more yellow and then the green to the orange the colors out a little bit more. Yeah, so now that's like sort of like a unit that all works together. I like that. And then I think we'll need to do a little bit of something over here, but I do have an idea. So what if we take these pieces and sort of 
bring them up to almost to here and all the way down to the bottom. Um, and then what we can do is sort of bring this this way. Now we have sort of these two sections to work with. Mm -hmm. Or, let me actually get rid of this end. Ooh. This one. Dang it. Um, and then we can grab these rectangles. Um, so we are going to need smaller ones. So let's go to art shapes. Uh, I'm going to grab this little rectangle. I'm going to sink it in like that. So let me just grab these. We're going to have to, oh, I forget that you can't move multiples. Um, I'm just going to have to sort of adjust it a little bit. kind of fill in this square and this is where we'll do the shapes which I do want to use a little squiggles What if we rotate it like that? Then we can sink it in and it should hide in those beams where we don't want it. I can't get my keyboard to work with me. There we go. So if we sink it in, we just sort of got it in there, which we can kind of pull it this way a little bit. Because this side, this this edge here won't be visible because like we'll have other blocks stacked up on it. So what if we do that? And then sort of like drag this one to do something similar. Triangles. Actually, let me see if a little slightly bigger triangle can work in here. Um, try to do the same thing, basically. Kind of squeeze it. Different shapes like that. Mm -hmm. I should be able to squeeze down in here as well. Just sort of do it like that. Goes. We have some funky shapes there, which we need to adjust the colors. Which these triangle bits, we're gonna do the orange from the. Well, that's gonna be the green. And then the red is going to be sort of that cream color. And then the outside, I want to be orange. Um, for these ones, I think the inside was orange. Yes. So the inside will be orange. And the outside will be the creams. And then for the circles, we will have the inside that dark green and the outside sort of the orange. There we go. So like those are all very much connected in like a style. Um, and for these ones, how do we want to do these? What I'm thinking is if we grab this, duplicate this to sort of the middle. Let me do a design on that side. Sort of the middle. Like that. Let's grab our art shape. We're going to want to use the rectangle. Um, oops. Let's put that there. Perfect. 
outfit size. Sink that in. Just sort of build this up. this over. I think what I want to do is sort of like the squiggly line sort of along the side or maybe kind of down the middle in like a like an angle. Um, so let's go in here. Wall art. Um, let's use which squiggle do we want to use? I think we can just go ahead and go with this one. Oh, I want to do it sort of at an angle. Something sort of like that so that this top piece is like there. Um, I need to sink it in a bit. Like that. I should be able to pull this through like that. So line it up. Mm, it's a little bit visible down there. But we should be able to kind of nudge it over. Like that, because this side won't be visible. That's going to be attached. Um, it oop, into there. Up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, let's get some of these squares. I kind of like that angle. So we'll take like a little bit more. We'll put like a square there. Put one down here, maybe. Let's get a circle. Get a couple circles in. Like that. And then I want to put a triangle. Get the big one. I want to put the triangle down here. I want to have the triangle and get that to fit. But it should be fine. I'm just gonna sink these big ones in. Mm hmm. Like that. Mm, and how do we hide that? Maybe if we push this over a bit. over. It'll be like a smidge longer, but, or wider, but I think it should be fine. I don't think it'll be super noticeable. So we just got to fill that in. And there we go. Oh, we gotta do the colors. Um, so the little um, sneaky boys are going to be orange on the middle, and a big cream on the outside like that and then I want these white dots these ones there we're gonna do them I think we'll do them like that with the orange on the outside nope that's the inside which is gonna be the green These walls look amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I will be post. I'll post this. Um, I'll post these. This wall set on the Steam Workshop, so you guys can use it too. And I'll also post the wall art from um, or wall art the um, wall set from the North America area as well. I've been meaning to do that. And I just keep forgetting. Um, so the squares. Did we put squares in anywhere yet? Not these big ones. But basically, so we're gonna probably make them match the the triangle there. So we're gonna have the green, and then the red will be sort of that cream color, and the outside will have it be that orange, um, like that. There we go. So they all kind of match, but they all kind of do their own thing, which I love. Um, the only thing I think I want to change. Is I'm gonna push this kind of a little bit more into the wall because it's like I like the idea of them being kind of cut off on the edge like that. I kind of like 
Oh my god, Emmy, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, we can turn cat cam on now. Because um, she had fleas and she is healing from them, so she's a little angry, she's a little itchy. You can kind of see, oop, you can kind of see her skin like very sensitive right now. So we're just gonna kind of let her do her own thing over here. Don't really bother her. Cat cam, yes, cat cam. We're gonna show off the princess. Show off the emojis, my subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> off our emojis. Emmy has her own emoji and so does Reggie, which Reginald uh, is my dummy boy, but he is the one who's we built the zoo after Reginald State Zoo. Oh, she's leaving. She's going up there now. Yeah, there's our emojis. So we can. I don't think we can really get her on cat cam anymore. Kind of doing her own thing. <laughs> I'll go ahead and turn it off. It's actually really bright. There we go. It's a little bit better. I love the emojis. Thank you! Dinosaur actually drew them for me. Um, there are a few other emojis too. You can see them below the stream. Um, the cats and ones are my favorite though. Okay, so now we have a wall set. What this means is now we can go in here and get rid of all these other walls we placed. I also think this new wall set will look phenomenal with, um, uh, oh, they remind you of the walls, the mosaic? Yeah, I guess so. Let me go look at the mosaic. Where is it? This mosaic over here, this chaotic one. Yeah, it is quite super. I mean, it totally doesn't match this area of the park and at all. Um, we might end up moving this whole thing to the, um, probably Los Tropicos. If not, it's like, um, it's kind of giving Indo-Malaysia as well. So like we might end up moving it completely. Um, it's also just not visible at all. So like we can't even appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go in. Oh my God. The kangaroos can escape. Totally forgot about that. Um. So we'll go in here. So the only thing I'm worried about is that if we do duplicate basically all these walls, it might look a little busy. So after we put them in, I want you guys to tell me if you think that it is a bit too much. Um, so basically we'll just duplicate these pieces. Cause it'll be like that. I don't want to brag, but that lines up pretty well, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with that. Um, that wall's gonna go there. Thanks. Just gonna kind of place these around. Honestly, yes. Impeccable. Absolutely. Uh, I might go through and get rid of some of these middle beams. So these walls don't feel like completely separate from each other. Like, do you think I should like... Rid of these, so it's like one wall. Or do we like the beams? Not sure. Let's put in. Uh, let's put in the door. Phenomenal. I like the way that that kind of stands out. Um, So that's the thing I was worried about was whether or not that was gonna stick out like that. But I think we can just get rid of it for the sake of like that one door. I think it'll be okay. Um, window piece. Squeeze in there. Now those little pieces do stick out. Um, at least on this side it does. So we might have to try and do something about that. So let me see if I lower them down a little bit. Take just a 
mid. I think that's fine. It's a little bit funky, but just a little piece. And this piece, this can squeeze in there. I'm gonna try and get under these trees now and see this. Um, so this is gonna go there. I think the doorway is there. And these little art pieces are going to boost the, um, uh, like the beauty or whatever of the buildings. You know how they have, like, the beauty ratings? And they're more efficient if they have, like, high beauty standards. So we'll do that. So it's still in this thing again. So we are going to have to adjust this one. Um, we're just going to rotate it and we're going to drop it a little bit. We'll do something like that. that look like that. Same thing over here, we need to kind of rotate it, maybe drop it down a smidge. What does that look like that? We can get rid of that piece. Oh, these are those one pieces, so we can actually scoot that in. There we go. Looks a lot more smooth. Yeah. Absolutely. I think we do want to get, I do want to get rid of these beams. To kind of help the building flow a little bit better. We can also get rid of that beam there. Um, over here we can get rid of these ones. Oops. We're just going to keep them on the corners, I think. So we actually need to push these in. To do them one at a time. So which piece is that that I was just using? So the flat wall piece end needs to be adjusted. Flat wall piece, the end of it, because it has like this extra beam and this gray wall needs to kind of scoot in more. That will help with that. So the flat wall piece here, we don't need for this beam, needs to be scooted in. Just a smidge and that should help. Same here. There we go. So now they shouldn't be a problem when we duplicate. Awesome! I think it looks amazing. And then basically what we need to do for future, like I like the way this building looks. Super cool. Definitely, I think, has that Australian vibe. Oh, we need to do the. We need to do this. What I'm going to do is grab these and duplicate them. And then move this one in. Like this, make sure everything lines up. So we actually need to move these pieces in a smidge. basically make that smooth archway. Then we can just grab all that. Nope, we don't need to duplicate it. And just plop that in there, which I think that is awesome the way those door the way that door looks with like the way the shape moves. I like that. Um, what I want to do now for this roof is I want to grab all these top pieces, if it will let me. And I basically just want to grab them so I can duplicate them, and I want to put them on top of that window as well. Which I might go ahead and make sort of like a window piece like that. Mm. Okay. Let's get a 
these pieces, these ones, and my base is going to kind of drag them up to there to kind of help finish out that building, kind of make it all look uh, uniform. So let's slide some of these pieces over. And then we'll just need to frame the top of this window. Like that. Um, let me just pull that one a smidge. There we go, pull them towards us. Then we can go get an interior view. See if those cement pieces actually help. Um, yeah. Like, doesn't this building look super awesome? Uh, I wonder if we can go into this groove. Yeah, and get rid of like all this stuff here. And the main reason I want to get rid of that section there um, is just so we can put like informational on this wall and put like a nice like ink thing. Um, just gonna move this fern. There we go. So now we can put like red kangaroos on that wall. I think that would like look super cool. Maybe we can do some uh, gardening work. Yeah, super cute. Kind of looks like a school. <laughs> a little bit. Let's go see the inside. I want to see if the cement help. Oh yeah. See, look at that. So now the interior is like cement, which means we can go in here. And actually change out these pieces. Look at the little guy sleeping. Aww. They're so cute. What I might end up doing... Um... Let's actually do, I'm gonna go get a concrete piece. Uh, I wanna put like a little barrier or divider. Like there. Just sort of insinuate like that's the sleeping area. And this is the not sleeping area. Um, let's move this, we can move it like. stuff and then they can kind of go back in there and get some sleep and then we can actually just like put some of these wood beams maybe and sort of frame it a little bit just so it kind of blends in hi how are you uh the game is going good we are building a australia zone to our zoo right now and we are working on our first exhibit which is the kangaroos and I'm just kind of trying to build a little space for them to sleep. Kind of give them some uh, some privacy. Um, the way the habitat is built right now, it's very visual. So they don't really have a lot of spaces to kind of um, get away from sight lines. So I want to make sure that this area back here is nice and cozy and quiet for them. So we can do something like that. So they can definitely kind of just go back in there and sleep. You can already see a couple of them are sleeping. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. They put their little hands under their head. Um, yeah, so that's that. So we don't have to worry about them being visual in there. Um, and they're all kind of hanging out out here. Uh, and I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, the only thing we need left to do now is this, this informational building, which I hate how this path is like... So I'm going to delete it. And we're gonna try and line it up with these paths here. So I think what I'm gonna do is do it over here. Not that close to it. Yeah, so I'm gonna have this path sort of nope. This way. corner 
there. And then what I'm gonna do is change the elevation height. Like that, so that when we go up, it makes a little stairway. And we can select that. Um, and then we will do a line to grid. Build a little platform here. in that direction. Something like that maybe in the future. Don't really know what's going to be over there. But we'll do that and that kind of gives us more of a more of a slim lines. How many hours do you have in the game and did you play the other games like do you did you play other games like Planet Zoo? Not for streaming and just in general. Uh yeah, Planet Coaster actually I think is my uh biggest hours of game play um of any game i've ever played oh probably not probably minecraft i think is probably my highest um on steam um planet coaster i think is my biggest played i think let's see i can look at the hours it's something like that where can i look at the hours of all my games library i'm in the library right now oh Oh, okay, so right here. Yeah, so Planet Zoo, I have 530. Planet Coaster, we have 907. City Skylines is also pretty high. I got 500 in that game. Um, and then Sims, I think, is also 900. Uh, that says it on Origins. I don't have Origins open right now. Um, I think Sims is also like 900, and then Minecraft is probably also just as much. Probably more. Honestly, Minecraft is probably more. Minecraft was the first, like, gamer girl game that I played so like really went into that also I got Minecraft like right shortly after my parents got divorced so that was like really my outlet <laughs> that was really my uh my go-to so I think Planet Zoo Sims and Minecraft are like my top games and then Planet Planet Zoo Planet Zoo's gonna it's gonna be there soon it's gonna get there just gotta work on it <laughs> um yeah, so let me see. I want to try and get this to line up. Maybe if we do... Mm, I want this to line up. Oh, yeah, you can, wait. can you just leave me alone? I hate the way... Th okay, I want this to like... Line up with the side of this building. Don't you hate when the paths are like obsessed with you? It's like, can you just let go? <laughs> like, it's time to move on. I'm done building you. I'm just trying to get this to line up a little bit more straight. Uh, and then this, we're just gonna kind of smooth into that. So there we have like a cool little path. And it goes back that way. I like that. And do we think these paths will look good with sort of this architecture style? Or do you think we should choose a different path? Because this is the path I decided to do for the, um, the whole Australia zone. So do we think this path looks good? I also chose, let's see, what else did we choose? I think the herringbone, no, the parquet floor. This is our elevated floor path, which is going to be like this. And then this is going to be our interior floor, which kind of just, I don't know, for some reason it just gave Australia to me just had that Australia vibe, you know? Basically. I mean, like, this isn't interior, but theoretically. Right? It would be like that. Like, is this giving Australia like it is to me? Like, is it giving that to you guys like it is to me? I don't know if it's the shapes. Maybe because the Australia pack came with, like, all those shapes and stuff. But, like, the Australia area is supposed to be, like, yellow orange. It's supposed to be like orange. So I don't know if this path is like the best, but do we even have an orange path? We do. We have this orange path. Do we think that this is better for like that interior Australia? Because I gave that path to um, this is the Nile, Saf Nile Safari area. Um, we also have this path that has some orange in it. And I 
believe this is into Malaysia. So maybe we can put this in into Malaysia. And put this in now Safari. And put this in Australia. Like, how do we feel about that? And then we go put this, let me swatch this. Let's see. Like, is this giving more, um, Australia? It says, so orange dots are nice. I like the pop of color in the Australia theme. Oh, the blue with orange is nice too, Path. Are always a hard choice, yeah. I think this one for the safari, like, we had it, so we keep it the way we had it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we'll do this blue and green for the pop of color. Or the blue. Alright, so paths are good. What we need to do now, so this is how I use my wall um, swatches. I'm going to show you guys. So this building is done. Uh, I don't think we're going to be building onto it. So basically what we can do now is take that, clip separate from building. Um, and then we basically will just take this one and sort of line it up where we want it to be now for the new building. Which I'm going to line it up. I'm going to line it up with the floor. Uh, just because the buildings are already so tall, um, I think it will be fine. And I'm going to rotate it actually this way. So I can line it up with like that beam there. Um, oh! And me sneezing. Sneezing. Uh, let me actually push it through just so I can see. Um, is that looking straight? I think that's looking pretty straight. And this is the hardest part about using the wall, wall, um, pa packs, wall sets. So you gotta try and line them up perfectly. Yeah, so this is pretty good. Um, and I'll put them like, wall piece needs to be aligned with that. So we'll do that, then we go into the building, we see what's going on here. Basically we can take all these pieces now, and move them, and then I'm just going to grab this piece, and I'll sort of jump around here to see how we're lining up. Why is that actually not lining up? You know why? I know why it's not lining up, because we used the wrong size path. So, this building needs... What just happened? That was weird. Did you guys hear that? Like, placed twice. Okay. So, I'm gonna, like, build this building in sort of the square space that we need. That is sort of our space. And then this actually we don't need there, so I can delete that. I can delete that. And I think we're gonna use these bad boys. Sort of like in this space, I put one there. And then this one we can move here. Be a flat edge as well. And then this one will go there and then we have to figure out this top piece. How are we going to do that? Um, can these little one meters be fit there? Oh, they can. So we'll plop these across like that. We can actually duplicate more than one, so I'm actually going to attempt to slide these ones. Let's see if this works. Yes. I'm going to slide these down like that. That sucks. Okay. And then quick build hack. We're just going to grab all those. Select these. Copy those down. Here we go. So it's not going to be too short. 
because what we can do is we need to duplicate these over as well. Oh my god. Mm. I think there's like a piece in there, which we should be able to move. Yeah, there is. We can do that. We'll select both of these. There we go. So now the inside. Nice and gray. What we might be able to do. Hmm. Is take these walls out. Which is actually really difficult. some variety as well as give us some looking yeah um and i didn't cover this because i didn't think we were going to but i can grab these and just kind of pull them up like that i think we're just gonna have to weave those like that because there's no way to actually get a piece to fit in there that's fine so we have something like that, and that kind of like changes it up a bit. And then we need to do is actually grab these pieces. Uh, right there, and we need to move them out. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then these pieces need to be like adjusted. And then we need to do an archway, which what I'm thinking about doing is taking like this and sort of getting rid of these pieces. Like that. Um, Do this. I'm gonna grab all these pieces. Grab those pieces there. And I'm gonna move them up. Like that. There we go. And then copy them down. like long side panels here. to probably about there, I think is good. Um, I'm gonna bring this, bring these down to probably right about there. I think that's pretty good for arch height. And we can get rid of these pieces up here. them down. Hmm. Nope. Redo that. Grab this. Bring that over. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is grab <clears throat> this piece. There. Um, and that will work as our piece to keep it gridded. 
We do want it on a grid. down a little bit more right about there and then we need to grab these pieces that piece slide all this stuff down like that so this is basically going to work as like our archway um and you can also grab those ungridded pieces like that and try actually I don't think There's like our arch piece, and we basically just kind of need to nudge this all over a bit. Which we actually just can't do that. I'm actually gonna get rid of these. I think we're gonna redo them just because they're very messy. that one down there. Um, and on this side, were there beans back there? There were. So you delete that one, you grab that one, and do that, and then this. There we go. Slide those out. I'm gonna do that. I wonder if I can select these two pieces, if it will let me move them here. Yeah. Basically, like slide them out like that. And then up. There we go. So it's like a nice wall piece. And then we just need to do these pieces, which I can basically just place them in here and then we can multi select. Now we just need to design these little walls, which I think I'm going to make these very shallow to help with that uh, problem we were having. Like that. up to there and then we should be able to like grab mess with these a little bit what if we okay let me try and think so if we do this keep it locked on snapping if I can like rotate them okay well that's not great so control X undo that. Let's actually, okay, let me get rid of these because there are some other ones that are a little bit more shallow that might fit better. So if we grab like this one, oop, it's going to need it on snapping. So if we like plop this one in like, oh my god. If we plop this one in. the 
projects for me. Okay. Nothing's working. Hello? None of my buttons are working. So let's try this again. I wanna grab this one. There we go. Um, and if we rotate it like this way, we'll do something like that. And maybe I'll rotate it like this way. Um, let's do it the other way. Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, let's do that. And then triangle. Just kind of squishy down in there. Circle. Go up that way. And get a few other ones. Maybe here, maybe up here. Up there as well. And I'm going to just duplicate this over there. Um, so these ones need to be. We want to do orange in the middle and then cream on the outside. And then we can use the big circle. which I think I'm going to swap that green out. So let's switch the green for the cream and then turn the cream into the green like that. So a much more little design there. And then what we can do is select all these pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the seven selected. There we go. And we should be able just to rotate this. And push it in there. Do that. Do that. We just need to do these ones kind of on their own for some reason. Sink those in, and then this one and this one need to go this way a little bit. So there we go. So those are our that's our like little archway. Um, we should be able to keep that on the grid since it has the um, pins in it. And I think they're right there. Perfect. Um. Yeah, so I like this. The only problem is it is kind of off in shape. So what if we take the whole thing and sort of push it up to that height there? Then oh no, we need to push it to the over. Like that. I think so. Because it needs to we need to readjust the um the size because I used a bigger size than the path, so I need to actually go down to like this. Um, and to try and get that to tilt there, and then that's gonna go up, which we actually need to change the elevation size. There we go. So that'll go up a little bit like that, and then we can go down. To that, mm -hmm. and that should be good, right? It looks good. So grid, yes. And this is actually the wrong path, so we need to make sure we're using our this is our Australia indoor path. I think we might need to just adjust. The floor a little bit because I actually have an idea. Mm, no, we're not gonna do that. Let's just keep the exterior. There. Um, what I want to do for this building is we'll grab the cement building piece. Okay. 
And I think what we're gonna do is kind of put it down at the bottom as like a foundation. We just need the one meter. I think we do just need the one meter. And then can we change the color of it? Perfect. I wanna change it to that orange. So it sort of matches those um, pieces that we put in. We'll just put it up to, yeah, we'll do this whole thing. We're just gonna put some wood in. like a nice foundation but it also matches the other one and then what we want to do is um so for the roof ooh, I got the chills um for the roof I kind of want to do a slightly slanted roof um so what I'm gonna do is go into this building mm -hmm. and I'm gonna select the one meter slope and we're gonna actually have it slope like this I think that's kind of cool. Just kind of tuck these pieces back in there. Like that. And then we just need the flame. But I want to use glass. That one is not on the grid. Where is our little one meter? There it is. Um, so we're going to use this across this that and then I want to use the little one meter from the Australian pack on top. There we go. So we'll just have like a simple little sloping roof like that and from this side we just see like all the glass um, which I think we're going to add glass in on this as well. be snapping so let's get it to snap it does make it easier to rotate ourselves like that and we'll just slide it down we might need to put some sort of a boundary kind of lip piece on the bottom of that so it's not like it's just sitting on the floor um let's grab this more narrow piece We're going to slide it down to meet that glass as well as up above that and the top. Yes, we're just going to pull it out here. Like that. Perfect. Love that. Um, and then for the roof, I'm using art pieces um just because i kind of like that different aesthetic there so let's go grab the rectangles which i think these are these ones uh is it snapping i think that is snapping perfect um so actually let me see if these will snap so that's where ooh, actually like that. And these need to be orange. Like that. To slide these across. And then after this, we will be done with this first habitat. to do is I need to go use the restroom. So I'm gonna take the pause really quick.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I really was trying to push for that last 15 minutes, but I was like gonna pee myself. Um, we actually have a little friend here with us. It's from my cat cam. Look at this. On the curtain. Do a little cat cam. Um, okay, where were we? So we're finishing up this group. Uh, did I put this last piece down? I did. Yeah, so there's that roof. That looks pretty good. We did put a wooden border on it. So let me grab this piece, which actually I'm going to do is rotate it also to rotate it. And then we're gonna move it and see if it'll snap. So it won't snap, but it'll do this. So. <laughs> yeah. So let's have it kinda adjust. Sort of like that. So we should be able to just copy most of this. So I'm gonna build that there. And then we'll copy this down. Like that. And we should be able to take all of this and slide it across. Which it might be interesting to do like couple other ones. So here and there. Just for like roof support. Do something like that. And then can we grab that super long piece? Where is that super long piece? Is this the super long piece that we're using? For some reason I thought it was so much longer than that. Alright. So we'll grab this piece and we just need to do the top edges there. Um we could just kind of take it like this. Pull it down and out a little bit. <laughs> Emmy, are you okay? Did he scare you? Look how good Emmy is. Can you see him in the You can't see him in the camera. Yeah, you can see him. Hey, don't you growl at me. I didn't do anything. Are you okay? Alright, let's let her do her thing. Let's go back to sleep. Use your little mat. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just gonna have these kind of like double up like this. It's nice and thick. We should be able just to copy all these. I think what we can do also is grab these beams. See if we can like pull this. Maybe a little bit. Oops, no, I'm not gonna control it. I just want to do these ones. 
Um, mud holies. That way. And that way. It's kind of spread around a little bit. So my cat cam is, is so the cat cam is more than nap, nap, napping. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So this guy here is Emmy, and she's an absolute fucking diva. Um, thinks she runs the fucking world here. And then Reggie, the gray cat, is, um, how would you put it nicely? Unintelligent. Unintelligent. He just is, a, he's, he's a, bless his heart. <laughs> He's carefree, yeah. He lives out of a care in the world. So this is our like little building in here. I like this. He just doesn't understand. It's okay. So in here, uh, we need to. I always forget to do the interiors before I put on the roof. Always, always forget. I wonder if I can like mass select most of these pieces and just kind of migrate them over because I do want to do some interior decorating because this is where sort of the informational area is about the kangaroos so let's just like move these over Excuse me. There we go. put them there um so inside here this double action going on here it's amazing um so what I want to do is we're gonna have our um, animal talk in here. So let's go into facilities. Let's get our animal talk and see where this is gonna fit in. So let's try and snap on like a. There we go. So this is. So let's go to construction. Oops. I'll edit this building. Um, and I haven't thought of a name for the kangaroo show at all. So let's grab the ungridded pieces here. Okay, we're just gonna do like a half wall kind of situation. Um, and give us a snap. was good there um and this is gonna kind of come down here slide it across like that so it's sort of like a half wall situation <clears throat> and then we're going to take these beans. I want to use them. Just kind of frame it a bit. Sort of like we did in the, in the kangaroo habitat. Um, let's do that. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a little bit more. Mm -hmm. or something maybe we can do let's go to facilities um and we'll get the education board and we can turn off snapping we gotta be snapping 
Um, we can put that board like here. Uh, just so people can see it sort of during, during the show. Um, and then over here on this side, maybe what we can do is sort of like, ooh, let's do sort of like a planter box. Hmm. I like that. Let's do that. So uh, what we're going to do is go to construction. Uh, and we'll grab this. And how do I want to do this? Okay. So people will come in there. So we don't want these to snap. Hmm. Okay, we can turn position snapping on just for this. Because I want this to kind of snap nicely. And I'm going to have it kind of come off of that space. Tuck that down a little bit so it's more of like a planter bed. And have it come out like this. bed um, and then I think what we can do is get those small pieces this is small ones get these to sort of cap this the same way so we can kind of do something like that. rotated the seam. There we go. Grab that along. And over here. I think these just look so much better when they just have that little cap on the top. benches there. Um, so now what we need to do is we're in construction. We need to go to nature. Can we look up dirt or just soil? So let's go to all. Look up dirt. Ooh, just like a million things. Um, let's go into construction. So dirt. No. Soil. No. So it's probably in the nature tab. Uh, I think it's in this gardening. Oh, we had all these things selected. Let's get rid of those. Uh, and it's like those little square patches of mud. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, we can use these. Perfect. Just sort of fill these in. bits in here. There we go. And I think we need to lower all these down. So let me grab them all and they're not even a part of this building. So let's make it a part of the building. And then we'll go in and edit it. So grab all these. Not the wood beam, please. Just the dirt. There we go. I'm just going to lower them down 
Oh, right about there. That's good. And now we're going to go into nature and we're going to put some plants in here. So we're supposed to be in Oceana. Um, hmm, sort of desert grassland. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's see. What do we have? So we have some of these flowers. <gasps> They're so pretty. Oh my god. So let's, 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 let's put these in. Absolutely. Um, maybe if I get some of the small rocks. Not small. Not small. Not small. Mm, okay. Let's put something like this. Is there not any smaller rocks on that? some of these really pretty bushes. I'm gonna put a couple back there. Is this tree massive? Ah. I think these trees are too big to put in here. That's fine. I kind of have a second plan for that. Let's go. I want to grab some of these like bits here. I want to put some in. What I want to do is we'll go into construction. I think it's going to be in centerpieces, statues. I want to get the kangaroo. So we have two options. We have this sculpture, which is massive. smaller kangaroo statue so we can use that one sort of like maybe outside in a gardening bed let's see okay let me sort it by Australian pack oh okay so the other one's not in here oh here we go Yes, we have these ones, which are a little bit smaller. Fine, let's use the big one. Put them in there. Very cool, very cool. Um, and then on this side, let's put a uh, donation box. Let's go into facilities, guest services, donation bin. I'm gonna squeeze it over here. And then we can get that um, sign. Need the square two pan meter panel. Uh, we want it to align to surface, please. <laughs> what is that? Um, let's do the let's do something like that. And we can put our little Reginald State Sea funding sign on there. Want to donate to Reginald State Zoo Conservation Fund? <laughs> kind of fun. And then let's put some benches in so people can come in here and hang out. Um, so what we're gonna do is where are all our benches? They're in facilities. Here, here, here. Okay. So, we are actually in a new section of the park, so we need to choose some new benches. So, for the North America, we used these um, benches here, but now we are in the Australia pack, or Australia zone. So, what benches did they give us? They gave us these. They are a bit much, in my opinion, so we might not want to use these. What do you guys think? I mean, the, the color palette definitely is like 
nice. I think it's like a metal seat. Um, so like that's kind of cool. We could also use maybe these and maybe recolor them. We can't recolor them. So there's these we could use. Um, we can also use like these benches, which are a little big, but they're kind of cool too. Um, there's classic benches there. So which benches do you think we, we should use for this? We have the conservation bench. Uh, can we recolor that? We can recolor that. We can have a straight up like orange bench bench all over this suit, which might be more like a orange. Make it more like dark orange. I want it to still be like a vibrant orange, but just like duller. Like do we want to put this bench all over the park? What do y'all think? Because I'm down. One here. Like that. And then bins. Did we get a bin with the Australia pack? Let's see. Do we bin? North Africa, Planet Zoo, Africa, Aquatic, Australia. Ooh, I do like the Australia bins. If we can change this to a more vibrant orange. Mm hmm. Let's do that. Squeeze one of those in here. And then maybe squeeze one like back there. I don't think people should be allowed to walk back there. We can't really change that. So then these benches are gonna make orange as well. And then we're also going to get the railing for that. And we're gonna make it orange as well. Everything's just gonna be orange. I think we need to put the railing over here. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to put the railing over there and walk up. I don't think we need to do the one on the back. Did I put it there? Does it clip that one? No, I think it's fine. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Very cool. So we're gonna go up here and get some information about who So this is where you can come to learn about the kangaroos and get to do a kangaroo show. Um, we we'll probably need to want. We we'll probably. I'll probably end up doing like some green filling and stuff like that. Um, maybe do something like along here. Oh, and like a red a kangaroo sign or something like that. Um, let me just search everything. I want to search kangaroos and just see everything that we have. This, right? Do that, maybe we can make them like match like that. Let's do let's do orange and then make these green. Yeah, I like that. Dope. Um, and then the only other thing we have is sort of this sign and then these little guys, which I'm probably gonna put a few of them around. In general, that is the habitat done. Um, we can actually press play and watch them kind of hang out. Um, 
maybe it's like a few small detail pieces that I need to do. Like maybe like kind of cleaning this edge up here um, and stuff like that. But in general, I think that is amazing. So the canvas can come up here and people will be like learning about them. Um, very cute. And then the canvas can hang out in here, which this habitat is a little small, I think my preference but the Australia area doesn't really have much area to work with so we're gonna have like we have kangaroos here uh, and then what else do we have to do um, kangaroos are gonna be there we'll probably put the koalas very close um, so we'll put the koalas like here uh, and then we'll need to put the platypus back here and maybe the saltwater crocodile as well um, and then we have where was it? Yeah, the platypus and saltwater crocodile are going to go back here and back here. We'll probably put the koala um, near the kangaroo. We also need to do the cassowary, the dingo, and the dole. Um, which they'll probably, those three will probably be over here. Probably put the dole like over here and the dingo. Kind of just kind of squeeze them in. But basically where this painting is, is pretty much the area we have to work with. And this area down here is going to be a park entrance. So we might be able to put like the cassowaries over here, then maybe the koalas right there, and then we can put the dole, the dingo, the saltwater crocodile, and the um, platypus. And that'll work. And then we'll basically transition into Nile Safari over here, we'll go up on this mountain and get to uh, Indo Malaysia and East Asia, um, all around the Thing is going to be the aquatic animals then we have those tropicos over here flat arctic area up there so yeah very cool very cool i definitely like the way that this is looking i mean it's a bit of a juxtaposition between color and i'm still trying to decide whether to make these roofs yellow as well they're not necessarily in they're sort of in the north america area which like when you're in the zoo as a person, I don't think that color of the roof really like makes that big of a difference because you're kind of like walking down here and you don't really see. And by the time you kind of get to one of those new areas of the park, it's kind of transitioned enough. Can I come in here? I don't think it's that noticeable. It's just kind of like from an overhead thing. Yeah, you can put plant walls. That's what I was thinking. Probably definitely need to do sort of transitions. I really wanted... I love the way this looks. Um, I really wanted the uh, areas or the zones to kind of um, blend into each other as opposed to like a harsh break. And then it's like, we're going, welcome to Australia. Um, in my opinion, that's just what I wanted. And that's why we kind of put the kangaroos over here near this pronghorn antelope and bison exhibit because they're sort of this like desert grassland and then we put all sort of the other forestry areas over there so it kind of helps blend um but the architecture is what's not really gonna blend although i did make this building sort of out of the um australia wood but just not with the australia theme so i think it's fine um definitely having some plants in here and some transitional items will help um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, we can go ahead and get like a nice view of the kangaroos over here maybe. We can switch into our, um, closing out page. Okay, let me put that there. And uh, we'll switch screens. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this stream. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I had a really fun time building the kangaroo habitat. Uh, it's been... Uh, a long time coming to come to Australia. We've been thinking about it pretty much since we started the zoo, and it's just kind of weird to actually be building in Australia now, having already completed the entire North America area. Um, but in our next live stream, we will be continuing on the Australia area, probably building something um, right around here as well, so we can either go over and do like the koalas, or go down and do the cassowaries, or stuff like that. I'm going to do the park entrance. Um, on my own in a YouTube kind of time-lapse speed build 
um, just because those kind of builds, oh look at him playing with a soccer ball, um, those kind of builds are just very tedious, so um, I want to do that on um, my own so like I can go in and stop recording when I need to kind of do something really, really tedious, and I can just kind of put the parts that just matter um, in sort of like a time lapse for you guys. So I'm probably going to do that all on my own, but the habitats we will do together. Um, there are six habitats, I think, going in here. We have the kangaroos, the koalas, the cassowaries, the platypus, saltwater crocodiles, dingo, and dole. It's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kangaroo, cassowary, koala, platypus, dingo, dole, and saltwater crocodile. So seven. Um, so seven. Yeah. Awesome. So cool. Uh, so I will uh, go ahead and head out. So we will be streaming again on Sunday at 2. Um, Planet Zoo. Hold on. We'll be streaming Planet Zoo on Sunday at 2, which we're going to continue with Australia. But we are also going to be doing something a little bit different tomorrow. For tomorrow, I'm actually going to do a live stream, which is Friday. Um, and it will be sort of a we're gonna start like a game night stream um and basically i'm just gonna have different people on the stream with me to do different either board games or different tabletop games and stuff like that um and tomorrow we are going to be streaming and i'm going to be playing magic the gathering um so if that is something that interests you then definitely stop by we'll be doing it at um what did we say six o'clock yeah so 6 p.m eastern time um, which would be essentially this time now that this stream is ending will be that this this time tomorrow night um, So yeah, if you like Magic the Gathering, we'll be doing that on Friday But in general, we're just planning to play sort of any kind of board games or tabletop games um, on Fridays uh, Just to kind of spread around kind of do some other things. Um, so if that interests you I hope to see you there um, if you ever miss a live stream, I always upload them to my YouTube channel, um, and I also try to highlight some really fun parts, uh, below the stream as well in the VOD section. Um, but if you, yeah, like I said, so if you ever miss one, they're always on YouTube. Um, and I usually always try and post on Twitter and stuff, my plans for streaming if I'm going to be missing a stream and stuff like that, so always check that out. Everything is linked below the stream. Um, but yeah, if I don't see you at another stream, I hope you have fun doing whatever it is you are doing, and I wish you guys all the best. Bye!